The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. We lit. We good. We lit. We, lit. we are good. What the fuck is going on up in this <laughs> feed? Uh, we back? Uh, feeling better? How, yeah, how you feeling? Oh, man. You were dragging ass on oh Friday. Oh, my God. <laughs> dragging ass. Why did I even come in here on Friday? Oh, was, so that's a really good question. No, nah, I was fucked up. I went home and got in a little cocoon in a little fetal position under the blanket at 5, 5 o'clock. Sweat that shit out to the next day. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. I feel bad for the you podcasters out there that lack energy. Like, I felt like kryptonite was beating me that day. <laughs> like, when you can't get live, when you can't get active on a party, you just, uh, 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 uh. you niggas is bums out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the fuck. Energy up. We gonna, back in here. Huh? You gonna find, a, find a way to flip it, huh? You see him? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Is that what I did? Yes, you did. So you, su- so you Superman. Right this second, it feels good to have energy. Oh, okay. Feels good. You can't even intro a pod right without energy. You play the song, yo, y'all. All That's right. Yo. All right. The, the, the Mike, intro gotta have energy. Mike check. I tried to mask it with the little guap. I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was dying. You ain't even get into the drink after that. I was like, you just let that play? Oh, yeah. You yeah, keep no, it I was dead, man. You kept I it not, I was dead, but good That's to be cool. back. It's cool. We back. Good bro. to be back. Good to see you. Ah, 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 the fuck? What's up? What's up? We lit. Let's we got a lot it. to talk about, man. We do. A lot going on. It's a lot, man. The, the internet, internet was just giving us gifts. The internet is back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like they took care of me while I was home. Every <laughs> time you looked up, like, oh shit, thank you. That's <laughs> another one. Yeah, nah, they was lacing me at home while I, felt I was like sick. Khaled. I was history. charging up. This is history this working. Is amazing. <laughs> it's going I couldn't to wait to, bro. You know how hard it is when all the fire shit happening and you can't say nothing because you got to come in here and say you got to hold it in. Oh, uh, I was so mad to have a Twitter or X. Excuse me. I was so happy to have an extended version of some internet clip. It just kept getting better and better. Yeah. <laughs> They just kept lacing me with different angles. Bro. Shout out to my black people on that boat, man. Yo, y'all was lit. I still see new ones coming out. New ones. Yeah. 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 Somebody yeah. else phone. Uh-huh. Director's cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the, we'll get into the yeah. comedians just took it and narrated it, like, chopped it up. This is the best shit ever. Yeah, we'll amazing. get to it. We're going to get to it fast, too. Hey, hey, the. the, the the intro got to be hype. Just, you know, just letting you know. Yeah. I'm from Alabama. Yeah, you miss one pod and people just, why do y'all put this pressure on me? You hear me? They when doubt, you, they when doubt the, your greatness. No, nah, never. Microphone check. What episode is this? 649. Welcome to episode, yeah, close this shit. We ain't using this <laughs> laptop. Welcome to episode 649 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and energetic host here with a few really good people. The beautiful Melissa Ford is here. Hi. Hey. Big flip, big flip. Ish is here. You look good on Savon shit. You look good on Savon shit. I seen you. I seen you, cat daddy. Uh, big Ice is here. Parks is here. Poe is here. Corey is here. Erickson is here. Ian and Keeb is here with some new nigga running around. <laughs> Everybody what, is... Open the door. I was like, dog. Oh, um, hey, dog. All right. How you doing? Hey, Ian's all, oh, yeah, this is such a... <laughs> dog, it's work day. <laughs> It, it ain't time to meet new people. Your dog. Hello. Fuck is wrong with these white people uh, doing the fuck they want to do around here? That's why we can't watch them before we come to work. Around white people. Yo, yo, we, yeah, yo. We respond to shit a little different. Yeah, yo, they shouldn't have did that. Poe uh, came in here. I looked at him like he had four hands. <laughs> yeah, Poe. <laughs> walk in different, Poe. It could happen today. Walk light. It could happen. Yeah, walk today light. Today is the day it could happen. Yeah, yeah. It could happen to one of y'all. <laughs> Tread lightly around here, man. How's everybody feeling? How's everybody doing? Feeling good. Amazing. Feeling great. Amazing. Great. Amazing. Crazy weekend, but feeling good. Boy. Good. Y'all, y'all looking good. Looking good, you're smelling good. This guy's stupid. Well, why was the weekend crazy? I just the weekend was entertaining. I found myself. Oh yeah, all of it was entertaining. Yeah. This was a good one. Mm. This was. Now while we're having our fun, (laughs) what it does tell me is. 2024 gonna be scary. <laughs> no, 
I just want y'all to know. I think this was the battery, nigga. The rest of 2023 might be crazy. That's what I'm saying. It might be. I want us to have our... Woo, it's a blast. But, but buckle up. Yeah. <laughs> they going to get us. <laughs> 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 they going to get us. Hey, hey. Hey, he nah, right? Nah, they, nah, this this is America, nigga. Mm-hmm. Black people ain't going to get the last laugh. No. <laughs> so, but, cool. We feeling good. Let's get right into it. Come on. <clears throat> it was a... <laughs> it was a cold afternoon in Montgomery, Alabama. Oh man! When the white people on the boat thought they found a parking spot, the bigger security dude did his best to let them know that that was illegal. You can't park here, and you would have to move that boat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We saw a conversation happening by way of hand gestures. We did. It was extended. That a hat went in the air. Hat. The bat no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. The bat signal didn't come out yet. Then they took a walk down that way down. <laughs> then they walked on back. But then all of our black hearts sunk a little, sunk a little deeper in our souls. Talk about it. When we saw just how many white people we had with them, they start walking around their little khaki shorts. <laughs> and their Crocs. Uh-huh. Boat shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sperry's. And I could tell that these is the whites that had a couple dollars, so they was talking to that dude like oh, he was crazy. scum of the earth. And had some whiskey in them. Hey, get your fat ass the fuck out of <laughs> Hey, who the fuck's this fat buddy over but, here? Because no, he moved he the boat. He moved the boat. Hey, no, Todd. Get black ass out of here is what they said. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they said. Yeah, they yeah. said a couple meaner things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 Look you know. at this nigger, <laughs> fat ass nigger. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. But bottom line, the white people did not want to move the boat. Now, they needed to move it because there was another boat. The bigger boat. The bigger boat. The boat or something. He moved it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He moved it. No, no, nah, he moved oh. it, but the white people didn't want to move it. He wanted it to go because it was a bigger boat with some black people coming. Mm-hmm. This is where Joe Budden's confusion starts. <laughs> Few questions for y'all, and I'm tossing the baby to y'all. <laughs> okay. Why do y'all think what the black dude had to know <laughs> that those white people was gonna pounce on his ass? <laughs> he didn't know that. I don't think. I don't think he knew. I don't think he knew. I don't think he knew. And <laughs> the white people had to know that when that boat got close. That dumb black people was going to pounce on their ass. I don't, I don't think, think they knew that. I don't think they knew that either. They definitely yeah. didn't know that. I think you know that. why they ain't know that? Because they ain't, it never happened. Like, they ain't never. Those niggas entitled. Yeah. This is Alabama. They ain't never been punched in the pants. Come on, my nigga. And they know what it is out here. Y'all Yo, know better. They yeah. parked there. I be thinking some shit come in the white privilege no. manual. No. Nah. Such as nah, if it's... you ever see a black boy swimming toward you. It's probably smoke when he gets there. They don't even well, think that they didn't think happen they yet. swim. I was shocked. That's I ain't gonna hold you. That. That's the first thing I yelled there's out. That. Oh shit, he's swimming. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he they called the that nigga Ludafish. <laughs> they <laughs> they call Aquaman. The names, all types Aquaman. Of shit. Aquaman. <laughs> Yo, somebody called that nigga Jermichael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name. Oh man, no. oh, shit. yo! Why did the dude? Why did the dude hit his Bobby Schmurder yo. with the hat? Yo, fam, you know how bad you gotta want to get that smoke yeah, in yeah. there, the, the, dive in that water, nigga. He was, oh, it, it was man. off the boat, right? Yo, off yeah, the off boat, the big bro. joint. He fam. dived off the boat. Wait, hold on a second. We we have to put a footnote in this. The boat that all the black people want, were on was called the Harriet. Like it just fucking gets uh, better and better. They and called. Better. They renamed it the SS Dead Ass. <laughs> <laughs> they called it the Alabama <laughs> Sweet Tea Party. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> the, the, the Sweet Tea Party. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get that. No. Oh, no. Shit. Oh man. Right. This is not right. Dog. So, this was amazing. Oh so. man. They said y'all had January 6th. <laughs> we got August 6th now. No. <laughs> so we really got August 6th. <laughs> <laughs> A nigga did a rap already. <laughs> it's fire too. Oh yeah, no. Oh, Where the rap at? I got the rap. <laughs> <laughs> Montgomery brawl. <laughs> Montgomery <laughs> brawl. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. Oh shit. Oh, man. Why did the dude throw that hat? You know he remind me of the old school niggas. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they try to get you to look over. Yo, dog. Bow. Yeah. <laughs> That hat went up high no, in the air. <laughs> nah, I thought he was hitting oh, his. Man. I thought he was hitting his shmurda, shmurda. But I think that was the universal <laughs> black yeah. people signal. Oh, like the, like the Thundercat logo in the air. The hat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when y'all get close. We on this right nigga here. right here. I seen him do that at the skate kid. <laughs> skate kid, right at the oh, end. It's always man. during that uh, bout it, bout it <laughs> segment. You throw a hat up, and the niggas just start pounding somebody. It's crazy, yo. But anyway, they beat his ass cool. They did. And then it got dark. Then it got, got real, real dark. dark. <laughs> Shit got midnight, nigga. No sun on the Eclipse. <laughs> that little nigga with the, that swim, you ain't see his hands? Uh, yes. That nigga might give Bud some run. That nigga <laughs> hands was fast as shit. He had to go to the ground like. Oh, yeah, he did. He, he wasn't playing. He picked somebody up and body slammed him. Yeah, he was mad. He no, he like, he had to get I mean, we still black. The fact I had to swim over here, nigga, somebody going to pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> got, got my school clothes yeah. wet. Somebody going to get their ass wet. Oh, <laughs> he wasn't oh, lying. The, hey, yeah, that shit. Yo, he wasn't only lying. black the people could take the song is, back. The cops was there and was like, we gonna let y'all rock out for a little bit. They let him rock. They let him rock. Uh, Even uh, the white cop let him rock. Uh, until uh, until uh, uh, got busy with the chick. All right, all right, dog. Yeah. dog, <laughs> dog. He got <laughs> carried away. Nah, dog, 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 come dog, on, man. The cop, was stand, <laughs> the cop was standing there when you bust homie with the chair. He let you live. You can't hit the lady you with the chair. You walked over to the lady. He folded my You can't hit the lady. Yo, that cop walked right. That cop, you were so foul. The cop Walk right past the melee. Come on, brother. <laughs> Come on, brother. Come on, brother. What you doing, man? Yo, yo, you're the one person that's under arrest. Yo, no. He had flashbacks. Yo, you can't hit the somebody, woman with the chair. Buddy. Somebody said that he was. He had flashbacks of Vietnam. That nigga went crazy, <laughs> son. He was beating the shit. Oh man. He was beating the shit out of the man. Nah. And he walked over here tonight. The crazy part. It was older black gentlemen. Like they was old Q dog, old heads. Yeah, that shit was they were. Q dog still want no, to smoke. That in their was 70s. thirty years of animosity that we just got to get on. My nigga, I'm a, hey, yo, the, the man fun. was punching slow. That's how old he was. <laughs> 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 that nigga, he gave that nigga a headache. headache. <laughs> yeah. those, those dudes might have been old, but their wives were a little younger. They was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You right. Yeah. Shout out to the wife. Yeah, that shit got crazy. She came over there and got right to drag. And Becky. <laughs> <laughs> then they throw one of them in the water. Yes, they throw one of them in the water. <laughs> yes. Yo. Oh, uh, Alabama has set the tone. A lot of times we see, these, Alabama, we see these situations, people watching. Oh, come on, chill out, chill out. Not this time. Well, when they threw homie in the water, that's when I sat back down in the bed and my humanity and love and grace came back. I was scared shitless. <laughs> You imagine? No, I you can't swim. Yourself with that one, though. Nah, I, I can't oh, swim. The rest of them I was down. Them. I was down with the fight until I remembered a nigga could just throw me in the water. Now it's the edge. You go hold on. You ain't gonna drown. Now, she, she, she and then up. if y'all are busy fighting, <laughs> ain't nobody gonna see you. <laughs> Help me, nigga. <laughs> Yo, what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo. Oh, nah, man. that's foul. <clears throat> Bro. That yeah. that one that was a, a little check mark for us. We won on that one. Mm. That's a Nasty. Historic, that's historic right there, fam. Yeah. August six is going down. <laughs> why are we why are we so ignorant, man? <laughs> that shit was amazing. Bro, you is said, it ignorant? They started. Are we ignorant? <laughs> right. Yeah, Paul's right. Yeah, talk. They, start, they, started, <laughs> they started it. They started it. <laughs> Bro, you say whatever you want. They say, yo, the nigga, you, jump, they say, yo the, when you see the black people skipping at you right there, that's yo, not the a happy skip. Is, skip. The skip. People that's gotta not understand, hey, yo, skip, hey, yo, America, when we skip, we charging up. <laughs> we're, not, we're, trying to, we're trying to preserve energy. We're not trying to get out of breath. And get to you <laughs> in a timely <laughs> fashion. In a timely fashion, so when we skip. But we know we need energy when yeah, we get to you. Run. Exactly. We ain't gonna run. We can't run because we run, we might <laughs> slip and we, all our energy's out. We probably wanna be tired when we get there. Exactly. So the skip is the charger. And with all of the negative stereotypes y'all put on us, like, y'all know we not skippers. <laughs> You should have like, been a red flag. Been think a of all the okay. shit y'all say about us that's a little true. <laughs> <laughs> we We're just, not skipping, dude. We, we, we ain't just, swimming. That, nigga that should have been in it. the water, bro. But I think you should have tried that in a small the town. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, Joe had valid questions, man. Why uh, would y'all jump on him and think that? What, what were y'all doing? 
when I watched that shit, I was like, y'all really jumped on this man for all these black people and thought nothing would happen. Security. Yeah, they was, was over there. Too. Them niggas tried to make it to the little boat and escape. Even the boat. Hey, dog. <laughs> <laughs> my Get man, my man stepped right on the boat. Hey, uh-uh. I love black people. You know? <laughs> what? Pulled the, them the off people, the, the gate. People, the yeah. people in the blue shirt were security for the Harriet. If you know that, they, yeah, they, they were started like, beating them up too. <laughs> yeah, they got involved. They were beating the them staff. up too. Yeah, that was the, the staff. staff members. Yeah. Yeah. All of this is All coming getting. after my the other clip that I'm just remembering of the fight in Jamaica with some girl next door from where I was staying. Some girl tried to get fly with one of the workers. Big girl. She threw the water in her face. Oh. <laughs> Big girl said. <laughs> <laughs> started pounding on the girl. So it's been wild Yo. fights going on out, outside. Oh, I didn't see that one. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't see no, that. it was right next door. Right next, the one, the, no seriously, the one that I kept like looking at that looked hood. like they was having all the fun, it was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you over there, bougie land. <laughs> Y'all got it. Y'all can have the fun. <laughs> they oh, was a mess. Man, but yeah, yeah man. Uh, and then the white people got arrested. Yes. 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 Time. Got locked up. Get those thugs off of the street. And, and right. they beat him so bad, the whole, his foot went through the Crocs. That like was crazy. Crocs. Well, that's no shit like that. His, that's his why he's shin. on his shins. That's why you got to put the Crocs <laughs> in sport <laughs> mode. He wasn't even ready for that. Your people, your old school niggas, try to that niggas choke niggas. They try to gouge his eyes out. <laughs> old niggas, right? <laughs> grab, just, grab him did. by the face. I was like, oh, oh, I I was like yo, where are you taking him? <laughs> no, where are you taking the guy? And the funny part with the old head, the white dude tried to do the sneak shit upon yeah. us. We been, we he tried to lie that, nigga. Yeah, he tried to lie on him. Know what's up? What you the talking about? The white dude about? tried to lie on him. Why he did that? He was, he probably said, you know what? We gonna Yo, go all out here. White husbands. Because I, I believe that a lot of y'all is, is them dudes out there. But y'all have to teach your wives hand-to-hand combat or something to help you in the event that... Things Some go shit awry. Like go yeah. Just, just standing there crying ain't gonna do it. After a while, I just started watching the wives. The they wives know what was that? They was getting their head knocked off. And they were still going <laughs> into it. <laughs> like, what were they thinking? Yo, they love their husbands. <laughs> oh, call Jerry. <laughs> Jerry again. Jerry again. Jerry again. Jerry again. They wasn't even jumping in to help. They were Yo. just gonna get beat up too. Ah, yeah. oh, I'm with you, Darren. <laughs> Oh man! They got hit like a girl in the blue got hit like six times, and she kept going. I'm like, stay down, <laughs> stay down, Go Karen, back to the boat. Yeah, <laughs> get a motion. What are you doing, yo? And and the narrating lady was like, yeah, get that bitch too. Yeah. Oh, he whipping her ass. He whipping her ass. Yo, I love the shout out to the narrators of the world. <laughs> yeah, the narrators. The narrators. He's beating her ass. Yeah, she deserved it. I'm like, oh man. It's about to get nasty though. Like, I, I agree with you. <laughs> Let's have this fun know, right now. Woo. Y'all better enjoy it. It's man. about to get nasty. Uh, Alabama. I don't know. Once, once, y'all. Once, oh, niggas might be fed up. Once Trump I, that's what to, I think. That could once, be. Once Trump go to Florida a few times. <laughs> Nah, I think this <laughs> niggas about to get the blue hats. <laughs> yeah. I think they they tired of they shit. Niggas is buying chairs and shit. All them folded up white chairs are sold out. <laughs> like why black people do shit like that? Like why y'all buying chairs? <laughs> no, the internet is amazing. They had the the teaching the kids how to swing the chairs. I saw that, bro. People were wearing. They those put purses. the chair on a bike chain. <laughs> Damn. Keep him, they, keep him with me at all. They said, "Yo, I see the, the chair with the laser on it." The irony <laughs> in history: the nigga that invented the folding chair was black. Was a black man. They had his so designs bad. and everything. On the chair. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> Try to stay in a small town. <laughs> <laughs> at least my man was right. Yeah, I went there. They said chairs are sold out. Oh, try he that over right. here, Bucko. He was right. <laughs> he was right, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, oh shit! God. We took the song we back, took the yo. Song. Took it back. <laughs> took it. And you was right, man. Homeboy is foul, but oh, that's our shit now. Yeah, yeah now we got it. I kind of like it now. Someone yeah. got to do a cover. Right now? Yeah, Someone got to do a cover. Oh, see, but that, <laughs> that's why I was right. <laughs> see, that, that's why I was yeah, right. Like, right. Well, there. now I'm listening to it with the context of what happened, and I'm like, it sounds different now. It sounds yeah. it sounds different. Hit now. a little different. It hit a little different. It when it was the dog whistle, I was like, yo, fuck you. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm just I'm like, they just, they just need to put that the 808 underneath. <laughs> <laughs> right. A little remix. <laughs> a little sub. Let Metro get Let, that. Yeah, oh, get that shit over to Metro. Let Metro go ahead and take care of that. Oh man, yo! Thank you, Internet. Oh man, thank, thank you, you, Alabama. You. Word, word. 
I think I watched that like 20 times. Fam, it, it, you can't <laughs> stop because Tears more videos keep coming down out. my face. Yo, people were together watching the bars. <laughs> they cheered. I've never seen no shit like this. And I'm like, yo, yo. something is going to change. Like, I got a little scared because we was just too happy. Mm -hmm. We were happy in unison. Everybody was happy. I'm like, something's going to happen. Son. Yeah, niggas all is fed up. All I'm Karens, y'all need to chill out for the next couple months. Yeah, yeah fall down. back. Y'all got to sit down. They gave the guy with the with the you know he had a mini mart out there one of the fighters. They gave him all bad reviews on Yelp. They fucked this store up. They violating. Yep, Vassar Mini Mart. That's yeah, what it's called. Go. Yeah, it's they were past. They were passing the Instagram. They had to go private. They Wait, had to, what yeah. happened to Vassar? <clears throat> no, so the so the people who own the boat, the white people, their mini mart. They own a mini mart called Vassar Mini Mart, and so people, how did we find this out? <laughs> listen internet, to the internet, internet. The internet. Oh, we, we, we doxed them. Yes, <laughs> we doxed they had, the shit they had out one of them. dude. He gave a statement. He gave a He was running. He was like, no, I had to get out of there. I knew it wasn't right. They had that oh, yeah, I heard him. All in ass. He nah, had don't try thing. to be down, homeboy. <laughs> I heard him. Don't try Yo, to be down. Oh, man. All right, but, all right so Bastard. No, so the guy, so the people who own the boat, they own a mini mart called Vassar Mini Mart. Mm -hmm. And they had an Instagram page and everybody, they got doxxed like crazy. They got doxxed twice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You are good. <laughs> that boy good. Oh man, that boy good. <laughs> that boy good. <laughs> Fuck you, Dad. You lucky, Paul. We love you, Paul. You just been right in. I'd have been hiding. <laughs> I'd have been. Come on, get out of here, Paul. They got docked twice. Yo, you'd have jumped off the boat. What a I'm out. I'm out. I'll be out here. Catch up with me later. Yo, guess where they ain't coming? Out here in the deep water. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they're out here treading like they violate that store, son. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. Oh my lord. Oh, yeah, trying to get boy. that store in the fucking man. business. Now they do. Like, Y'all taking the white bodega away? The <laughs> <laughs> white bodega. The bodega. And people need it. The people bodega. Need it. <laughs> Nah, y'all black people. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> oh man. Hey, yo, hey, nah, hey. somebody posted a picture in the chair talking about Jennifer Vanston. You next, ho. <laughs> 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 oh yo. shit. Oh, oh God. man, what's wrong with your girl? You uh, defended her the other day. Oh, yeah. I was not. We were talking about something completely I'm playing, different. I'm playing, I'm playing. I don't know what the fuck she, she out was of doing. Line, Mel. No, she's out of line, Mel. She's out of line. Nah, but you. Still, you did defend him when we was trying to kick her back in. Yeah. And now, look, this is why we was trying to kick her back in. Yeah, we, for, we foreshadowed it. You no, see we the saw this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mel, kick her back Angelina in. Angelina yeah, wouldn't Now you got to kick her back in. I legit Hold on, leave it on, Mel. So <laughs> I legit have no idea what the fuck she was talking about. She needed to step all the way out of that whole conversation. No, but kick her back in, though. Kick her back in. Like, kick her back in. Come okay, on. so um, Jamie Foxx said, he, he posted. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. We she gotta give it. the story. No, wait, we got to give it context. <laughs> we gotta give it context, okay, right? Okay. We gotta give it context. Oh, okay, so Jamie Foxx, he like made like a statement about fake friends or something like that, and he used the word they, and somehow this became like you know somebody said it was an anti-Semitic statement. What happened? They killed. He said they killed Jesus. What do you think? Uh, what and that's, do you think a, and that's a black thing. That's a, and, that's and a black shame, households though. around yes. the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, they talked about Jesus too. Yo, they persecuted Jesus too. Yo, right. they did X Y Z to Jesus too. Mm -hmm. Right. In saying Jesus was. Perfect. Name. The, Messiah, the greatest, the greatest person to ever walk on the mm -hmm. earth. Yeah. You're not better than Jesus. Yeah, they gonna dish yeah, you Jewish too. Jewish people, that wasn't about Jesus. That wasn't about yeah. Jesus. Not at all. And he it hashtagged it fake friends, fake blah, friends, blah, blah. Right. So it was basically Lo a Fake story. love, fake yeah. friends. Exactly. Okay, so Jennifer Aniston apparently liked the post. Mm -hmm. And then people, you know, start the cracking her muffin, start cracking For Jamie. liking the post, mm -hmm. claimed it was anti Semitic. And so then she gets on the bandwagon of say of issuing statements about you know not being anti-Semitic and I don't condone this and but blah her, blah 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 and she sounded fucking insane. Her first sentence was, "I didn't like this by on, mistake, purpose, on, on purpose or on it by accident." Yeah. <laughs> she so confused the fuck out of me with that one. <laughs> you <laughs> just said I was hacked. Go back to that one. Nah. Right. Or somebody. White people so, excuses. So what the account. fuck are you talking about? White people yeah. excuses are different. I, I saw that. Like yo, not on purpose, not by mistake. Well, you, it's not meant for us J to understand. Just the red heart got up there some way, shape, or form. So I guess what she's supposed she's insinuating is that she has somebody else running her Instagram page, which she do probably doesn't want to make that known because she's got fans who think that they're having a personal interaction mm, with her gotcha. when she talks to them and blah, gotcha, blah, blah. Got gotcha. it. So that's probably why she said that, but she sounded like a fucking idiot. Like, I, there's, there's, there's no way around. She sounded like a fucking idiot. Kick her back, back in. in. Yeah. <laughs>
back in. Kick her back in. Jen, I love you. No, that's not kicking her back in. <laughs> oh, yo. No. I'm, a, I'm, I'm her fan, yo, but I think that was... you want that movie st- gig bad. <laughs> but, I, but it was wrong. Try this. Yeah, it no, worked. No. I think Brad makes more movies, so... Oh. He does, probably. He does. <laughs> oh, my like God. Movies, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. She dragged it, though. I'm glad they dragged her. <clears throat> they went... Black, yo, black people are coming together. They killed her. She had to turn the comments well, di- off. digitally. Digitally. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, they, they, sorry. They turned like... <laughs> hey, with... But we get we gonna get to the other area. But here's <laughs> here's the irony though: the character that she plays on fucking the morning show kind of got digitally canceled, so she kind of experienced it in, in like life. you know art imitating life kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. I never seen that shit. Oh, it's a really good morning show. Show's fire. Yeah. It's a really show's good. Really good. Show. It's good. Yes. It's good. My bad. It's, good. Yes. it's a, it's so a you TV show. That? Hmm? I did. <laughs> that's a good show it's on Apple it's amazing yeah. wow it's amazing if I say then I yeah. Look, that's how niggas try to press you today you bought R. Kelly in here <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes come on them shits <laughs> yo please don't bring him up yeah. don't get me started with him mm-hmm. <laughs> the blank is on come start, on let's yo. go no, no, my, is, my, is, my, is. My. Oh. <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh man. Yo. <sighs> they was about free R. Kelly after the fight. <laughs> no, wait, before the fight, y'all had Lizzo trending calling her R. Belly. Oh my God. <laughs> they did. They did. <laughs> Do y'all know how flagrant the news cycle has been while I've been home with a fever? And hey, R. Belly. Belly is crazy. There's another one too, I I can't remember it now. <laughs> Shit. Oh, It'll come to me. Yo, that's some you shit. Oh, God. That's some you and your Twitter heyday shit. Son. <laughs> oh, man, yo. Nah, the internet won this that week. That is nah, funny. That was a rare form, yo. Oh, oh man. These niggas are our geniuses. Belly is, that's that genius. That's crazy. <laughs> At home all week, I've been in my head playing Lizzo's voice, body shaming them fat girls. <laughs> Trying to, like, hear it in AI. In AI that form. shit is hilarious. <laughs> Oh man, yo. Mm. Yeah. Bitch got too big. <laughs> you ain't hitting the step the same. <laughs> Fuck, Tiana, Tiana Taylor wouldn't hire you. <laughs> oh, shit. If she would hire you, what the fuck? Yeah, the got? fuck you think you just gonna be eating honey buns around here for? <laughs> <laughs> your, your dirty wine on one. <laughs> yo, it's ish. Yeah, ish. Yo, he be right there. Yo. All right, come on. What else? What else? Holy what shit. What else? What else we got? Right, well, we started with fights. I mean, we, we had another fight in baseball. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that. one of the best, that's one of the best <laughs> fights ever. I saw that. that. Professional sports. Fantastic. I saw that. Usually, sports fights are the worst fights ever. No, not that. This one. this one was good. This one was good. The black this guy let them get it off. All right, get that shit off. He tried to stop that first. Now nah, get that shit off. <laughs> and I don't even know why dude was mad I, though. He slid into the base and my man hit him with the I glove. I was gonna in the ask face. you guys, like, yeah, what happened? Joe's so, the baseball dude. It was He must have said something. So wait, Tim Anderson and am I, am I right? Is that I don't know saying? them niggas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, Tim Anderson and then the other guy was like Rodriguez or something like that. Ramirez, I believe. Ramirez. That could be That's Ramirez. 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 No, no, no. It started with an R and ended so, so, in a Z. Oh. 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 No. What the fuck? Try this in a small town. Oh, <laughs> Mel, you okay? <laughs> Got him. Mel, stop. Shout uh, out to our Latin we, community. Oh, uh, uh, we love man. y'all. Wet pie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, yeah. you got it. He's too old ass. <laughs> what are you doing? Bart. Uh, oh, y'all just gang up with the racism. <laughs> it just moves out. They can't help it. Oh, uh, <laughs> man, yo. Uh, Jose no, Ramirez. There we go. Jose Ramirez. Okay, so that was oh, the started was in the R. <laughs> and and what is it in the Z. Z. Oh man, it's, it's something, something that, like that. Somehow that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yes, shit! Yes, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> so he slid. Yeah, man. and I think my man hit him in the face with his glove. I think that's what he got mad at. I don't know what they was fighting. I don't man. care. They do the hands. Because normally you don't really have to pay attention to the baseball fight because uh, it one, gets one really club's going to come out, gonna one club's going to come out. The whole game comes out. Yeah, comes out. and then you see a hundred people that look pussy if you're looking on the TV. Yeah, like, true. None of y'all going <laughs> y'all nah, they, they put their hands up quick. They did that square it up. Quick. Like, square up, square up. And the second baseman that looked like he had a little bit of knuckle game. 
but he missed. He missed. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, that counter was good. <laughs> My man wasn't even looking at him with the oh, counter. That see, was a no C punch. Yeah. That's yeah. what makes it foul. Because if I'm being an analyst, dude, the sec, the dude that got hit can fight. Yes, yeah, he, he was going to win yes. that fight. Yes, but you get a shorter guy who's going to close his eyes <laughs> close and, swing. and swing and catch you. That's what happens. And now Sweep you got to go back to the hood. Yes, <laughs> and explain that. Yo, straight. That nigga Slide. fell. Now the whole Slide. league is laughing at you. <laughs> he fell in slow motion. You can't even yell at your girl at home. You can't do shit. Oh, he you can't cannot. do anything at home. He got problems at home. Yeah, the Go a- check Ramirez. Because the, the Astros got the footage, then they, they put it out. <laughs> <laughs> when Ramirez throws second, you ain't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. That was crazy. Oh, man. No, Yo, man that's got terrible. Rock, got up that's walking. Terrible. I don't think I ever oh saw yeah, he had spaghetti legs. Never saw KO. They held him up. Yeah, yeah professional they held, they, sports. They too. It's always crazy when a nigga with the spaghetti legs try to get try back to, to the fight. Who was the guy that tried to break it up in the first place? What, what does that call? Umpire. umpire. The umpire. Yeah, he tried to break. Well, he's black, so he tried to break it up. Then he fell back. I, that was my favorite part. Y'all ain't gonna hit me. All right, get your shit off. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> get your shit off. I, I ain't hit it. I ain't get paid for What's this. What's your favorite sports punch ever? Mine's is easy. Cause go go New York go New York go. Yeah, you fuck. Yeah, you, come on, you know the vibe. My favorite is Chris Jeff Charles ain't played fight, no games with Kobe. My favorite part was Jeff Van Gundy in that fight. No, I'm talking about a different fight, but oh. I like that fight, you too. Know I'm, you oh, know yeah. I'm old. I'm man. talking about Chris Charles uh, punching Kobe in the face. Was that three-piece? Two. Two-piece. And he punch him in the neck. He ain't even hit the nigga with the chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yo, oh, yeah, rest, yeah, in yeah. rest in peace, Kobe, man. Yeah, no, rest, is, in uh, peace. rest in peace, Kobe. Jermaine O'Neal on whatever fan that was he connected with. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that, that whole brawl was... Look, look, look. Yeah. He That's slid into that one, though. Yo, he, <laughs> no, slid, Jermaine, hey, yo, yo, he slid... He slid right into the punch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love it. That's funny. Yo. That was the one. You know, I'm an old head. You ain't see when Rudy Tomjanovich got punched? He broke his face. I'm sorry. I remember. That, that wasn't funny, yo, because he did. They could have killed him, but that one. Who punched him? I don't even know the dude name, yo. If you Google it, it's fucked up. Because it's a hard hit. <coughs> and then Don Nelson, he tried that in a small town with Latrell, choked his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Carlissimo. Yeah, it was Carlissimo. Carlissimo. Yeah. PJ Carlissimo. PJ. 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 He got. My bad, Don. <laughs> <laughs> a, couple of, a couple of people in sports got choked out, though. A couple of you, right? I, I'm listening. I'm sure more than I don't know their name. I'm asking, man. I seen a couple of clips of niggas getting choked out. I don't know. I don't know either. Mm. Mm. Listen, it was some brawls in that Kai Sinat, uh, Kai Sinat uh, Union Square. It was a lot of PlayStation yeah, yeah. PlayStation lot. giveaway. Mm. There were a lot of brawls over there. <laughs> there was niggas dancing on cars and shit. I didn't right. see the brawls. No, they was fighting. No, 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 no. They was, fighting. No, 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 no. They was no. pulling niggas yeah. off the bus, whipping yeah. niggas' asses. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, they were fighting. They were climbing the monuments over there. One girl was up by the traffic light, twerking. I saw niggas, I saw some, a, a person standing on top of the hot dog stand, but mm-hmm. I already knew what that was. Like, You've been around a lot of hot dog stands since true. the last part. You have. You've been doing a lot. Saw you. What are you talking about? You've been on a glizzy run. Yeah. Yeah. You've been pause, gobbling man. glizzies, man. <laughs> You've been, you been Joey Chestnut out here. I, I didn't eat the glizzy. Yeah, you did. Okay. I didn't, yeah, yeah hey, said, you're my brother, I, bro. <laughs> so it's cool. Nigga said you the goblin glizzy. <laughs> Stop! Leave me alone. The glizzy <laughs> goblin. <laughs> the, the, yeah. Somebody was standing on a hot dog stand. It was getting crazy. But you were saying earlier. I don't need you to say what I was saying. I can't get your shit off. Yeah, I, I'm trying to. I, I, I'll, I'll just come out and say what I yeah, said. Yeah, I'm waiting. I said I was ecstatic when they arrested that young man. <laughs> Oh my God. I said I, 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 I couldn't have been happier. Oh, when they man. arrested uh, Kai Sinat. Now I sound like Peter Rosenberg and the niggas hating on the young dude. Dog, I, I want to give him some grace because he's a young. He's too young. He's twenty one. That's the only grace I'm gonna give him mm-hmm. because he's from New York. And if you're from New York, then you know that 14th Street Union Square, 89 degrees Friday, is the wrong block and place to do this. <laughs> How did he think that was gonna go on that block? That's what. That's my question. Nah. Now he, what? He's 21. Right. He's yeah. from the Bronx. Yes. Yeah. So he's not from New York. 
the Bronx is, he is from New York. York. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm sure he's been to Union Square before the weekend. But 100%. Not, but at, on a Friday midday? Yes. I'm sure. Yes. Everybody goes there. Yes. Everybody. yes. Movie theater is over there. Man, yes. Everything is over there. Yeah. He's, he's been living in LA the, for some years, my nigga. He don't know. He. I don't think he knew. I don't know that he lives in LA. He does. I don't think that he knew. I ain't knew. taking your word for it either, nigga. No, I swear, <laughs> man told him. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't think he knew like that, that the crowd, I think they underestimated the crowd. Well, I'm sure. You get what I'm saying? So that's, sure. that's, that's a fact. He I'm deserves sure. more grace. I don't think he I'm purposely I'm sure he underestimated it, but you know. He has millions and millions of followers so, across all platforms. You, you have to go. You have to go. You can't do this in New York on 89 degree Friday night Union Square, 14th Street. I don't think you should be arrested. But Me either. I don't think so either. How was they going to get the rest of them fucking kids out of there? He, mm. When he tried to get in the car, they, ju- they, they jumped they on, on the car. The car mm. And the car was trying to go slow to not endanger the kids. But then the car starts speeding up. Now they're watching this shit on the news. Cops trying out their drone. <laughs> they tracking the car. They want to arrest the kid to keep people safe. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You, it's a safety hazard. I'm agreeing. It, it is a safety yeah. hazard. I agree it, with it that. But I wasn't, I wasn't ecstatic when they locked him up. I think that he, he, it's a lesson learned. Dog, those kids would have been out there for ages. Yeah, I had moms. Like I had days. moms that had their kid out there. Like hitting me. I had moms that was trying to get through traffic. You just sitting for hours and hours and hours. You I'd would be t- tight. I'd I'd be tight. You would be, phone? T- huh? They was hitting your phone. Yes. Tell them get their kids a PlayStation. Ish. <laughs> Ish. That's not nice. Ish. <laughs> Go ahead, fam. Do your thing. I'll take no. Nah, get your shit off. <laughs> nah. That's what you want me to tell black moms? <laughs> oh. Yo, you are such a weasel. You know? It was a lot of people. Oh, that thing is such right. a weasel, yo. It was disgusting. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, I think that um, I, he definitely deserves a huge fine. You know what I'm saying? People, per- personal That's probably prop- coming. People, yeah. Personal property got destroyed. He, uh, is lu- he is lucky that only property got destroyed. Yeah. That is true. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. No people got their ass whooped. Yeah, but it wasn't no loss yeah, of life. But, yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't loss of life, no of life. guns, no anything. A though. stampede, yeah. a trampling. We was there for Allen Iverson shit. Uh, some other people that went through that too. But, it could have been something as simple as somebody just letting off a shot. Like, no, they was letting turn- off fireworks. They said they was letting off fireworks and it sounded like... You know what I mean? Gunshots and shit. Like, depending on what firework you let off, it could. New sound York like that. might treat a firework in that. In that, mm-hmm. babe. they don't. We don't play fireworks. Yeah, it's just the whole thing before six hundred police and fire in a crowded theater, shit like that. While like, we were here, they, you know, six hundred police officers was, you know, yeah, called to that. But, but, but that's the shit. other part. Now we got to pay for because we understand Resources. we got to pay mm-hmm. for the manpower to do yep. this. Yep. We got to pay to clean up all this shit that's over here. That's like, a fact. it's cool that you did a, a giveaway. That part is fly. Where you did it? No. <laughs> nah, the other shit. No. They had them. They had you better off doing it in the Bronx. They had them going on the, uh, when it was like, in the rest of them. Yo, yo, who got the PlayStations? You had to make sure, yo, make sure I get them PlayStations though. We ain't get to give them away. But what I will say is, if I'm him, I do that 10 out of 10 times. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Boy. Pro- proves the power of his, his, the, absolutely. Dog, he controlled the whole news day. Like, yeah. not our news, and the news. Shutting down mm-hmm. a, a major part of Manhattan is a fucking big deal. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, a, a huge deal. Yeah. Is it huge is a stat. Yeah. Going to jail about it is a stat, too. I'm telling you, I would have stayed a little longer. I'd have spent the night in there. I'd have been a martyr. <laughs> Man, Rikers. Kai Pac. Well, no, no, no. He might have. Kai Pac. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. yo. No, nah, they wouldn't have shipped him. Central bookings. Oh yeah, he'd no. have been in the bookings. They're not, they're not shipping. Them. No, he'd have been in the bookings. Yeah. No, he rich. He wouldn't have been in the bookings. He's rich. I was broke. They didn't put me in there. They put me in my own little shit. You had a name. He got a name. Loser. I mean, but you had a name. That, that boy th- is big. No, he's huge. Yeah, yeah. Pause. Pause. But they, they, you had a name that the the, the cops might have known. Well, if the cops didn't know him, they, they do. They, they, they know him now. They learned about they, him they that know day. Him now. Facts. You are correct. They, they learned about his star power and just how many people he could bring out. That so shit, did the that world. Shit, that shit is impressive. But don't do that shit again. So did the world. He ain't got to do it no more. Not there. You don't have to. Don't do it there. You do it, it somewhere else. Man, do it, go, like, go, it somewhere more organized. That's yeah. all. I mean, I'm just saying, but like a, a, a random, let's just do it, flash mob type shit. Mm-hmm. I've just proved I could do this in Manhattan and shut this shit down. That's true. I ain't got to do that shit again. My name now is... No, but he's gonna. Somebody's gonna pay him. To I was about to say how y'all know that. I was about to say how y'all be negotiating. They're gonna pay him to do it again. You see what I did? 
All right, let me. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, that's my that. advertisement yeah. now. Now we can do it the right way. Yeah. I don't have to do that again. Did he announce some Rumble deal or something shortly after? Oh, I thought his know. Rumble deal got announced already. I'm not sure. But Rumble's happy. Everybody, everybody in business, everybody with, him in business with him is happy. Yeah. I could have told you that from how fast that last little shit seemingly disappeared. Mm. Mm-hmm. Good one. Oh, man. I won't bring it back up. Mm. I'm happy for the kid. There it is. A lot of old heads ain't happy for him, though. Y'all stop hating on uh, Kai and Bobby, whatever her name is. What's the white girl name? Oh, Bobby. Oh, oh, y'all, girl. y'all stop I'll, hating I'll on them, man. <clears throat> Let the, the fucking young people be young. I like girl. I like what the young niggas is doing because it's just showing another way. <laughs> like, yo, they they doing this shit in the crib with a camera, building, making millions off of this shit. They ain't got to be outside selling skag, as you say, or knocking nobody upside the head. Like, the the genius shit fire. The that's genius it. part is that's they, I know, they, they find a way to market that shit. They market geniuses, some of these young kids. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Whatever their product is, they find a way to get it out to the world, and that's fire. I was happy that I was in the house and I was happy that y'all was recording. Because this conversation and the whole tone of it would go very differently if any of us was moving around down there in the city. I'd have been so... Oh, yeah, you're driving hot. Oh, my God. Furious. Shit, if you're taking the train, you'd been hot. Right. Yeah, because then they stopped the train from even stopping over there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, shit. Yo, that nigga caused a mess. You know how much he disrupted... If one man Something could do all small. that, yeah. why we all can't get a union? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, y'all got to be shitting True. me, man. No. Oh, man. Word. Shout out to Kai. Shout out to all y'all kids. That Hopefully somebody got a PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Is a PlayStation hot like that? I guess so. Yeah, the Are they still fire. impossible so, to find and shit? Nah. They've actually, somebody announced a price drop just recently. Like, now they, they done knocked a couple dollars off. They buy them on the websites now. Mm. I yeah. don't I mean, the six coming for Christmas. No, nah, the slim is on the way. They slim, yeah. Not the six. They slim them down. They slim them down, then they'll do a pro. It'll be years before you get a six. Them niggas was out there with their phones out creating content. <laughs> like, oh, that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit, the, con- the real content creators. <laughs> COE the for real, real, for real. The real COE is, is, is it. Flip, you gotta smack the shit out of Kai, actually. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get the chair. That nigga out skidded you. <laughs> he, yeah, he's, he's him. He's him. Uh, his skit, they was deep. That shit was like a Nike skit, like a Nike commercial. <laughs> 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 you got to put the chair to car. I send JR to school. You I've been know. hopped. That was my car, too. Yo, that's my see, thing that's about shit kids. Yo, see? Come that, on. Come on. Come on. Let the adults see out of you. What? Come on. I see, you trying, right to, I see nah. you trying to ride with the youngins. I'm just but saying. But if that was nah, your car, that nah. they just start pounding, treating like the bonus stage in Street Fighter? <laughs> <laughs> Word. Word. City Word. Go back. Dude, you, dude just kicked the, kicked the windshield for no reason and then got off. Shit. Like it was nothing. No reason. You know how hard it is to fix a windshield? Of course you do. They was dancing on do. top of the car. They was wilding. But, Kai, you got to pay for that. Yeah. Yeah, you must have to pay for that car. Pay for it. That's all I want. Fam, you don't want to hear that shit today? You don't. Shit, that was going out. That was a Friday night. Or I just got a car wash. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? Shout out to y'all drivers out there with the little, little, the rock hit your windows, the little, little hole, and you just leave it there for a little bit. <laughs> that should grow. That's just spider on you. Start, you got to <laughs> crack, you got crack your windows. It was <laughs> <laughs> a hot day. You got your windows rolled up. You come yeah. outside, that shit look like Charlotte's Web on you your could, car. You, nigga, you could have drove your car out there, nigga. You, you got the shit for free. You got the shit for free. <laughs> yeah, insurance would have cleaned it. Why the shit got hit by a car? <laughs> hey, car! Car! Hey, <laughs> oh, hey, yo, man. hold on. Let me just say this real quick. Ish was wilding on Friday. The nigga did not hop in his car. I got the footage. Oh, I, I, man. He hopped in some Honda Pilot, some bullshit, <laughs> a 96. We got the footage of Ish What's driving. Wrong, no, I got to say it. What's wrong with you, man? I got to say it. I wasn't here. I said what's wrong with him. Why you thought you could drive out to work and sneak? He tried to sneak he in the did. car. He tried to, sneak he tried to walk us to our shit and then turn around. <laughs> we like, Ish, where your car at? <laughs> we was like, yo, what you doing? Where you going? So what's that? Bullshit. Yo, it was bullshit. It was bullshit. It was bullshit. Nah, he right. I'm just waiting to hear the story. Ish. I didn't drive my car to work. I had another car. I walked he outside. Had a Honda they like, yo, what you driving? I said that. They like, no, you nah, drove. nah, 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 nah. What's wrong with you? I don't understand. I don't even understand how this is content. Look at that. <laughs> I'm lost. If you in a uh, if you in a Honda Pilot right before Invest Fest, <laughs> that's why. Let me see. 
Because I got to tell Invest Investor. Did you play? I got to tell Steve Harvey. You got to tell Steve Harvey. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I don't want to see my the brother. The Honda Pilot's a great car. I don't even know what the content is, but it's okay, I guess. Because you big ish, nigga. Yeah. Okay. I stopped at the gas station to play the uh, Powerball. 1.5. Mm-hmm. Billion. Yeah. You don't think our picture should be hung up in there? Yeah. yeah. It don't even look the same. Should feel like ghost town now. At the gas station? Yes. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We need context, right? Yeah, please. Nah, you kind of don't. <laughs> Y'all put up numbers at the gas station? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What type of numbers? Yeah. Well... We used to park in there and just talk sometimes. <laughs> out there from 12 to 4 in the morning. Sure you know enough. I mean? It's the hot spot. Sheesh, on a Friday. The hot spot. Oh, on Friday. My. They all pulled in there. Mm-mm-mm. Three weeks ago, one of them white girls drove their car through the window of <laughs> <laughs> the gas station. Really? <clears throat> out here? Yeah. That gas station. <laughs> oh, I ain't, I ain't see it. But okay. Yeah, they fixed it fast. Anyway, it's, it's all right. Guys, now don't do that shit again, man. Chill out, Kai. That shit was wild. He ain't doing that shit. All them dirty ass. He, that shit put his value up with them niggas. He ain't got to do that no more. His value was up, though. See, this is why you understand Texas, why them kids get to school. They in school now. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot. They in school right this second. 109 degrees. Keep their ass out of trouble. They ship their ass back. Yeah. Parents throwing a party. New York kids need to take their little bad asses back to school with this mischief. <laughs> Rats. All right, what else? What else? Uh, no more fights, right? Uh, There's no more fights? We covered all the fights? I think we covered all the fights. We covered all the fights. Unless you think the Neo thing was a fight. Oh no, nah, yo. <laughs> Y'all got to tell me about this one. Please tell me. One. I missed this one. Okay. Neo sat down for an interview with Gloria, right? Mm-hmm. Gloria Gloria Velez. Velez. You know how they mm-hmm. say, you know how they say, it was a little meme going around that was like, the basketball players have to stop doing interviews with the baddies because they just saying anything in the yeah. interview. <laughs> yeah. So Neo went to go see Gloria Velez, and you could tell that he went alone. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Now I've interviewed Neo, and then he came here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came here. I've interviewed him a few times. I've never seen him just alone. He come with his team, his publicists, his people. They know what to answer, but not mm-hmm. to answer. Them niggas are smooth. Smooth. Yeah, they got, they got a, they got a, a Yeah, Neo shit. is, if you if you got a song with Pitbull that sold 100 million records, then you know how to handle those situations. Yeah, Neo's him. But he goes sit with Gloria Velez probably on a weekend in the morning. Late night. <laughs> <laughs> And they just chopping it up <laughs> like it's just them. <laughs> now, Gloria got a new podcast. So she ain't about to stop you, nigga. <laughs> Please. <laughs> if you say something wild, I ain't about to stop you. And they got to talking about. <laughs> I'm going to just play it, man. Please, please, I'm sorry. Parents have almost, almost forgotten what the role of a parent is. Amen. It's like, okay. Lost control. If your little boy comes to you and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl. And you just let him rock with that? You just let Right. He's five. Right. And where did he get that if from? If you let this five-year-old boy decide to eat candy all day, he's going to do that. Exactly. Like, when, when did it become a good idea to let a five-year-old, let a six-year-old, let a 12-year-old make a life-changing decision for themselves? Right. When did that happen? Right. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. I, I, just, I don't get that. And get to that. medicate these young kids that are five, six, growing up and knowing that... Oh. It, it affects their brain. It affects uh, their oh, organs. Uh, it makes them sick. But they're not allowed to do drugs. They're not allowed to do alcohol. <laughs> right. We can not medicate from it. them. He can't drive a car yet, but he can decide his sex. Well, right. Oh, right. What sex no, orientation? And he can cut up his pee pee. And, and that, to me, that makes no sense whatsoever. And it's, I, so I, I don't know if this is true, but I heard a rumor that they, they, they either uh, passed a rumor. Or <laughs> pass a law in it's the states. <laughs> if your child comes to you and asks to do some of these things and you say no, they can take your kid from you. Yeah, that's true. Just passed. 
start with that. That may or may not be true. And, <laughs> and then end with that. They want us to have no control over our children. <laughs> oh, shit, like, Glow. I don't, I don't get it. In schools, oh, and I don't get it. hospitals, libraries. <laughs> right. yeah. They just want to manipulate. <laughs> you got to understand, when they're so young they're and shit. they're already... That's, Impressionable. That's right. Oh, yeah, they're and not running away. <laughs> nope. They're, they're going to believe what you first. say. Yeah. We say Santa Claus is real. Uh, Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. Right, exactly. They know what they're doing. Remember who you're dealing with. I, I don't. I, I can't take credit for it, but I heard somebody say one time. He's like, "All right, your son comes to you and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl.' Ask your son, son, what is a girl? Mm, what is he gonna do? He's gonna say, uh, well, he might, he might want to play with dolls. All right, you want to play with dolls? Fine, play with dolls. Right. But you're a boy. Right. Cool, wear pink. All right, cool, wear pink. But you're a boy. That's right. Wearing pink. no issues. Yo, with, why with is your nobody LB. laughing? This is I, I have no problem with none of with nobody. Okay, right. love who you love, do what you do. Exactly. I but. just personally come from an era where a man was a man and a woman was a woman. It wasn't that you believe in that shit high rock. What the fuck? Me too. It, 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 yeah, I Neo. I as goldfish if you feel like. Right. Uh, <laughs> Neo. Business. It's just, it becomes my business when you try to make me Look play a game with you. He'll not run it from me. But you exactly. want to be a goldfish, you go be a goldfish. Uh, yeah. Goldfish. Yeah. 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 Just, we live go. in a weird no time. No sense. Do. Yeah. Trigger yeah. warning. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Trigger yeah. warning. Yeah. Oh, they put the trigger yeah. warning at the end. That's good. Exactly. I, I, it's just when I it just is don't weird know when the world became so sensitive. Oh. Some people believe in what they believe in, man. Yo. That's the name of the pot. What? Go be a goldfish. <laughs> you know? No, it ain't. Oh, no, it ain't. No, no, it is not. No, yeah. it is. Oh, but that right there is the problem with podcasting. <laughs> just sit down on a Sunday afternoon. Get your shit off. <laughs> just get to, you know what? <laughs> Let me tell you what I think about <laughs> this shit. <laughs> Yo, why did Neo have to? Yo, it's Neo. Oh my God, Neo, you made fucking so sick. You yeah. made all the love songs. That nigga, six albums of fire. <clears throat> Not the last one though, right? Oh, last one's good. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> yo. All right, so that's what he said. But then the next day. Well, not the, not the next day. Well, it was the next day. He apologized, well, but this, it wasn't him. It was his page. It was his page. Yeah. <laughs> that put out the generic. It's probably AI. I'd like to express my deepest apologies. Mm. After much reflection. Oh, there you go. I'd like to express my deepest apologies to anyone that I may have hurt with my comments on parenting and gender identity. Mm. I've always been an advocate for love and inclusivity That's in the true. LGBTQ plus community. So I understand how my comments could have been interpreted as mm. insensitive and offensive. Gender identity is nuanced. And I can honestly admit that I plan to be a better, I plan to better educate myself on the topic so I can approach future conversations with more empathy. At the end of the day, I lead with love and support everyone's freedom of expression and the pursuit of happiness. That was the apology. Yeah, now he's like, my opinion is mine, fuck y'all. Then he woke up seeing that apology that somebody sent on his behalf and was angry at it and wanted to explain himself further. What's going on, loved ones? Uh oh, <laughs> he mad right, now. Listen, I normally don't give too much of a damn about what y'all think about uh -oh. what I do, uh -oh. or what y'all have to say about what I say, whatever. I normally don't care because like I said, opinions ain't special, everybody got one. However, this is something I feel very strongly on, uh -oh. and I need y'all to hear this from the horse's mouth, not the publicist's computer, so check this out. <laughs> oh, First and foremost, I do not apologize for having an opinion on this matter. I am a 43-year-old heterosexual man raising five boys and two girls, okay? That's my reality. Now, if my opinion offended somebody, yeah, sure, I apologize for you being offended because that wasn't my intention. My intention is never to offend anybody. However, but I'm entitled to feel how I feel. I'm absolutely entitled to feel how I feel the same way you are entitled to feel how you feel. I didn't ask nobody to follow me. I ain't asked nobody to agree with me. I was asked a question and I answered the damn question. Okay? Says, I have no beef with the LBGTQIA plus community whatsoever. I ain't got no beef with y'all. Do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Do what you want to do with your kids. However, somebody asked my opinion on this matter and this is how I feel. I will never be okay with allowing a child to make a decision that detrimental to their life. I will never be okay with that. I don't care. I, I definitely plan to educate myself a little bit more on this matter. However, 
I doubt that there's but. any book <laughs> anywhere or any opinion that somebody's going to tell me that's going to make me okay. You can't shit on the education, Neil. Make a decision like that. But that's Neil. a period point blank, and that's how I feel. If I get canceled for this, then you know what? Maybe this is a world where they don't need a Neil. No <laughs> right? And I ain't got no problem with that. I'm a hustler. All right? I'll figure it out. I got kids to raise, and I'm going to do that regardless. So with that being said, y'all have a good day. I love everybody. Live how you want to live. Love how you want to love. But your opinion is yours. Speak your opinion as much as you damn well feel like it. Because as I said, they're not import they not special. Everybody got one. <laughs> All right, Neil. You're off on a tangent now. It's, we... <sighs> wow. He was upset about that apology. He didn't like that one bit. want that shit out on his page. The publicist computer. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Y'all done made Neil feel like the world should be without him. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got Neo mm. imagining a Neo this world. Mm. <laughs> Selling bricks. <laughs> mm. Anybody have anything to say about it? <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 sir? Mm -mm. No. No. I don't. We don't have anything to say. What Kasanat did? <laughs> Nobody wants to go anywhere near that topic of conversation. Nope. Which topic? Nope. The he's being accused of being transphobic. That's basically it. That's why he responded mm -hmm. like that because he, he he started getting the accusations of being transphobic. Is he being transphobic? Yes. You think so? Why? Because he said that he doesn't want his child so. to make a decision so. at five years old to be a different sex. He said there's a sex change. He said there's only two genders where I come from and all that other shit. Yeah, but that's where he came from. He ain't gonna shoot it. Yeah. I don't. Huh? I don't. I don't or goldfish. I don't agree with the that's goldfish probably part. The, yeah, I don't agree with that I part. Think, um, but I, I think that. But that that. Maybe I'm. That's the part that makes it transphobic. I or think offensive, that, no, at least. No, that's the part that yeah, people would so say wait, would be uh, the transphobic part. So, so people are no longer entitled to feel how they feel. Yeah, so but there's a word for to, it. He, he has. He has. To, he has to conform to. No, he don't what have society to deem is appropriate. No, if he doesn't feel not, that way. He doesn't feel that way. They just put the new. That they put the tag on you. You have a, a new badge on your shirt. Oh, okay, all right. All right. You're Some, transphobic. I think he focused more on the age thing. I think. He yeah, he, more I don't think. On, he, I, yo, I don't you're think making he, a life changing decision at such at a young age. age that you mm -hmm. could potentially. Um, Want to change later on in life if you had some more information? I think yeah, I think it was a possibility. A, I think like, it was again. a child. I don't think it was, a but you know, I, I could be wrong. I, I do agree with the goldfish comment. I think I think that that was a little bit and that was real insensitive. Like we don't trust kids enough to drink. We don't trust kids enough to drive. We don't trust kids enough to smoke cigarettes to do certain things. But you 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 allow them to get a sex change as a minor. I think. Well, that, they can't get a sex change as a minor. That, that's, Your parents got to sign off on. Well, you can't get a sex change as a minor. Like you, it, you, you have to go through puberty. There has to be the hormonal drugs don't that they are give administered. You hormones, that's what I'm they yeah, give you so there, it's a whole hands. process before there's an actual like there's there's physical and medical intervention. Yeah, it's a whole process beforehand. At what I'm age? Not educated at, enough but at, here's, hold on, man. At what age? Well, neither am I. I'm not talking about none of this stuff. Right. I'm saying okay. if you say, yo. I come from there's men, there's women, and that's it. There's mm. all that other shit I don't know about. That's transphobic. That's all I'm saying. Especially even, if even, there's even potentially saying I don't know about it. If what Mel like, is I'm not saying shitting is, on it. I just say I don't know about none of that. To say there's only two genders is transphobic. Fuck the, everything after that. There's only two can genders. Can you can find I, the can definition that how, maybe how, Webster's has? How many genders are there? It's more than two. It's more than two. <laughs> what do you What do you call the person that's born uh, with both genitalia? Hermaphrodite. That's, 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 that's what it is. But isn't that they're sex? hermaphrodite? They're not sex and gender are different. Yeah. See, you have sexual well, organs of both. That's about totally different. Uh, yeah, I, I clock out once they start yeah. doing that. So but that's what, that's the way they keep saying it because I I hear male, female, etc. That's your sex. Mm -hmm. This is the way it's explained. Male, that's your sex. Your sex can be this. Your gender can be something totally different. They say gender is fluid. They say that, yeah, they say that gender is a societal construct, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and so that's why people can identify a, a as a male, but yeah. you could be you, so your self-identification yes. is you could be non-binary, you can be like, you know, pansexual, you can be there's a there's a myriad of different, you know, identi self-identifiers. But and yes. so to answer your question, mm -hmm. um, Oxford's definition of transphobic says having or showing a dislike of or strong prejudice against transgender people. 
I don't think so then, yeah, just that's, saying that, hey, this is what I was taught, I don't know about that, is transphobic. I think that the label of transphobic gets thrown around in the face of somebody who might be ignorant as to what the current status of that's true. what's politically correct. You know what I mean? And it seems like it changes every I single was, day. So it's really hard dog, to... Dog, if you say you could go be a goldfish if you want, it's transphobic. Right. I disagree with that part. But people are I think it was an extreme example uh-huh. to use. But it's just saying whatever you choose to identify with, cool. But people are really you can do that. That's what I think the gist of what he's saying. Mm-hmm. Yo, you can identify as you want to be a man, you want to be a woman, you want to be this, you want to be that. You can do that. Fine. If I tell a white person I'm not a nigga, and they say, "Hey, if you want to go be a," but go people really fish. identify with animals now. You're talking about right, the guy in, in, in yeah, China tapping, who I'm, wants and, to and be a dog. Right there, yeah, and people. It's a scary slope. And, 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 and adults are saying there's an adult that said he adult. identified an adult saying that he wants to be a six year old child. He's identifying with a child. Six year old so child. Where do we, like, we, where do we draw the line? Like it's, it's starting to be a scary slippery slope. <laughs> he he can't get this guy that identifies say he's a six year old child. Whenever I hear this kind of conversation come up where Neo's talking about, you know, a five-year-old child saying that, you know, if they're, if they're um, sex-wise, they're a boy, and they say, Daddy, I want to be a girl, or whatever the case is. I've actually interviewed a couple of um, trans people before. Me too. And I asked them. My first question was literally, like, at what age did you feel like you were assigned the wrong sex? That, you know, and they were like, five. Six, mm-hmm. four. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. doing a little you know? bit of research real mm-hmm. quick. I'm sorry to cut you, Mel. Mm-hmm. It's, it sounds like medically they don't do anything like you were saying mm-hmm. until after puberty, like yeah. 18, right. maybe 17, yeah. maybe at 14, 15, after you started puberty, you can start taking some hormones. Yes. Hormones, yes, yes. So Yeah, like hormone blockers. I can see how a trans person or someone who got it. is okay. uh, allied, allied with that community got, okay. would be offended I, by them saying that they're happening doing this at five years old. Chopping got off it, got you. I got but, you. He just said, but, but he, making the decision he, of like... like. By well, the way, there say, are 72 genders. 72. Okay. I just Googled them. Oh, okay. 72 um, of the gender. Like Mel said, she's interviewed people and they said they knew at four or five, mm-hmm. you know, six years old that they were assigned the wrong gender. Mm-hmm. So now let's say the parent wants to be progressive and say, okay, I believe you were assigned the wrong gender. I'm going to start now treating you as something else, mm-hmm. the other gender. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. That could be playing a part into that way before puberty and everything gets here, no? Yeah, but we're not talking about medically. Their beef was medically... In the clip he was that just we saying, make, letting a child make a decision because the child is making the decision. By the time yeah, we get in, adult, it's a, it's the time that. the child is chopping off pee pee's, yes. like they they, yeah. they said. I, so I think things. I can see why a trans person would be offended by that because you're basically saying that, you know, when you get an adult, when you turn 18, that's when you're able adult. When you become an adult, that's <laughs> why, when you're able. Why New York niggas can't say that word? Stop There's making a lot of jokes people. and taking it away. It was pointed out to me too. Stop stepping on my point, nigga. I was saying it for a long time. When you become an adult, there's no e. You make a decision, so. To say that basically, it would be looked as as inhumane to chop off a child's mm-hmm. genitalia, and you know that looks crazy. Mm-hmm. So trans people probably saying that, but these people or persons is sure that they want to have a different sex or be a different sex. So you shouldn't say that. Put us in an immoral category. If you chop off a child's penis, is immoral. I don't give a fuck what you say. If you put them, if that was the case, but obviously you read, the, did the research. It doesn't yeah, happen not, like it's that. It's not happening in, so, in youth. So look, yeah. I understand. I'm it I look at it different now. Youth. It might not happen that that early, but at 13, 14, 15 years old, you start administering certain drugs. They give them hormones to yes. go into the process. You yeah, like hormone blockers. Mm-hmm. All right, we did it, y'all. <laughs> 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 See, I don't even, I stay off them. We did it. I don't want no parts of them shit. You guys look like it. But we did it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yo, man, this is supposed to be a place of freedom here, man. Come on, man. No, it isn't. (laughs) That's that's the biggest crock of shit there is. You get me tight. That's the biggest crock of shit there is. That nigga be looking at niggas. When we start talking, y'all niggas be giving the look. I'm staying away from this. Nah, nigga, I stand on that ledge. Well, go ahead. Niggas don't agree. You don't have to agree with that shit. Go ahead, then. All right. Okay, but, that, so, you're stifling me then. As a human, you're stifling yeah, right. Question for yeah, you. Question cover, for face. You. No. cover your face. You're stifling me. Nobody's stifling you. we telling you to go I ahead. I feel stifled. Now I feel. I, I, well, I, unstifle. Go the ahead. The AC is here and I feel hot now. <laughs> Flip. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I need some help. Sure. Um, so you got the 72 genders up there, correct? Okay. Th- thank you for calming me down, man. You're welcome. Is pansexual in there? Yes. Okay, so Wayne Brady. 
has come out as pansexual, and he says, quote unquote, I'm doing this for me. Tell Wayne Brady, football season starts. <laughs> what is pansexual mean? Okay, so pansexual is apparently somebody who bought, is attracted to just on a stove. people. <laughs> When you bust them on the stove. That's a dangerous place to have sex. No, 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 it ain't. ain't. I done got me a lot of countertop action. You countertop, but not the stove. Hey, it ain't hot. It's right. Yes. Oh, y'all got the little flat shits with the glass on there. Huh? Some of them got electric stoves, man. Wayne Brady is opening up about his long road to self-discovery and how his daughter and his ex-wife are showing him acceptance. I love all people equally, and now that includes myself. So, so what is pansexual? What is pansexual? pansexual means that you are so attracted. You're, attracted to you're everything. sexually attracted guys, to guys, girls, uh, animals, uh, transgenders. I, we're not going. We're not going to say animals. That is what pansexual means. I, pansex, please Google that fact. Does I'm, pansexual I'm include animals? Not, because I feel like that might be bestiality. And <laughs> why not? Why not? Pansexual I'm is attracted to all and can love on all animals okay. included. That's illegal then. All right, well, I don't want to rat then. To, Dan, to, to Wayne Brady, he says, pan means being able to, attra to be attracted to anyone who identifies as gay, straight, bi, transsexual, or non-binary. All right, not so, animals. Yes, yeah, so uh. it's only humans. Okay. Humans. All He's attracted humans. to all humans. He's like super bi. Sexually or romantically attracted to people regardless of their sex or gender. Okay, there we go. He doesn't want to say he's bisexual. He's super bi. He's, I guess he's but super that's bi. Not bisexual. But that's not bi. That's not bi. So pansexual and bisexual are not the same. Because there's a such thing as asexual, right? Well, asexual means you ain't fucking nobody. So you could be attracted to that person. Bisexual mm -hmm. people, come on, because we don't need to do this. Bisexual people up. like guys and girls, uh -huh. mm -hmm. not transgendered oh, okay. humans. Correct, correct. I stand corrected. So he is not Pansexual bi. Pansexual means I love who I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Salute. And they, can, and they can be attracted to somebody that is a gender. They might equally find just, a female, mm -hmm. male, or gender fluid person attractive. Mm -hmm. So in a bisexual thing, you're saying that they won't find a gender fluid person attractive. It'll just be a man or a woman. Yes. Oh, gotcha. okay. Gotcha. Salute. Yeah, salute. Y'all so ignorant on this shit. I can't even get my jokes off during these topics. Like, <laughs> you can't joke. How you joke? Do your thing. Thing is, now, he don't want to jump thing. in while we hot. Like, I get it. He... He, no, go ahead and joke. Him. He don't want to say smart. It's a smart move. I'll go right there, nigga. <laughs> like both of y'all, y'all can go joke. I can joke, cause y'all. <laughs> no, Joe, every cool. time we start joking like this, oh, I got a headache. <laughs> and then we turn around looking at this nigga while he have a headache. Now we got headaches. <laughs> yeah, man. I've been telling hilarious. people for years that Wayne Brady. <laughs> like I want to know why Wayne Brady think that that was a secret. On who line is this anyway? That was my line the whole show. <laughs> yeah, this nigga. Hey, yo, you <laughs> play the song. Niggas, what? Pen. Play the song, nigga. <laughs> Niggas a pen. <laughs> oh, my friend is gay. That that song. Shout out to Wayne Brady. Shout out to Wayne. Brady. Shout out to Wayne. Shout out to Wayne Brady. Happy. Come on, we have some hip hop shit talking. <laughs> y'all unpack some shit, boy. <laughs> Oh, y'all watched uh, y'all y'all got hip hop. Y'all watched uh, the live stream, the Travis yes. Scott the Travis concert, Scott, mm -hmm. Travis Scott live stream, which took place at a uh, Circus Maximus in Rome. Um, it looked crazy. no, that was the name of the song. Yeah, that's what everybody tried to argue me. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Laptop here for so, iPad here for a reason. So how was it? Um, Come on, that shit, that shit was amazing to me. He he started off with a lot of the records off of um, the new project, mm -hmm. brought Kanye out. And they did mm -hmm. um, record off of Donda. Crowd fully. One thing I hate about live streams is the crowd don't be into it. I don't know well, if it's just, just the way it. it no, you heard this. That's why I was like, yeah. holy shit. A lot of live streams, they don't put the mic in the crowd or don't they mix don't. it properly. Mm -hmm. so they you, don't. Yeah. It sounds like it's crickets out there. Talk your shit, Paul. I'm saying, yeah. not even. I'm, it ain't even got to be hearing it. They don't be amped up enough for certain records. Like, no, but he, Paul, just, if you don't hear it, you're not going to tell if they're amped up. No, you can. When they show the crowd, and you're not jumping at certain uh, songs. Yeah, I'm okay. talking about just that the energy don't look. It mm -hmm. don't translate on the screen. Uh -huh. Not even what I'm hearing. Got it. This crowd was turned from the minute he walked on the stage, mm -hmm. and the show was like an hour and forty five minutes or something. Shit. And he went through. But by the second half of that show, every time I'm like, all right. They can't get the energy can't get no higher than this. Mm. He might have went up at least six more notches after mm. that. Mm. 
This was a fire, 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 fire show. I'm mad I didn't know that it was taking place because I would have actually purchased the stream. Where was it purchasable at? On his website. Okay. Indie. Yeah. It was on his website. You purchased the stream for well, 15 well, bucks. Well, yeah. partnership. <laughs> but usually they go through Amazon or no. someone like that. It wasn't, it wasn't any of the, the majors. It was purchased directly through him. And... um no, so you getting that Spanky. money? Oh, Big time. no, no, no! It was you could, you could look at this <laughs> and tell you. just the production. Money. That's what he calls it. This was this was a lot of money put into the show. I saw the crowd. The crowd looked like they were super duper sixty thousand interested. Wow! But isn't mm. that isn't that like I'm just asking? Isn't that um, reflective and synonymous of overseas crowds anyway? Because they don't necessarily get superstar appearances as frequently as we do. So every time I see somebody in concert overseas, the crowd is going absolutely apeshit. I've toured Europe and the crowds are very active and live. Especially yeah. for hip hop. Gotcha. Yeah, especially for hip hop. They love hip hop. So. But him, like his crowds over here are like that. Gotcha. Mm. His, his, sure, that's sure, just sure. what he do. Sure. Got it. His crowds are, if, if, they if he would have got that Egypt show off, it would have looked like that. I would like to see a Travis show at some point. Oh, uh, I, I go every time. He's on my list of people that when they tour, I got to go. Mm. Because he brings a, a, an experience to the actual show. That's what it looked like. It's yeah. not just I'm on stage. These are the slaps. I mean, if you're in some old Coliseum shit, that's automatically an experience. And then he goes even more. Yeah, like like I said, I'm just talking about regular arena tour. Right. The last Astro World tour. Oh yeah, I, fucking I would, roller coasters. And roller shit, right? coasters. Stage over here. Stage over. Here. He grabs a fan out the crowd, puts him on a roller coaster, ride him around. He got curtains that drop down. 3D graphics floating all over the place. Oh, like, it's, yeah. it's an experience. Oh you. Oh yeah. He went and got them roller coasters out of storage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Yo, he's got some <laughs> balls on him. <laughs> he went and got the roller coaster no, that story. Oh, all right man. now. Dang, get the, don't prior. get cute, Travis. He didn't do no roller coasters at this. Like he this better time. watch it. But go ahead. Nah, keep on that playing. Shit, that shit was that shit was amazing though. Like I was in there turned just in the crib watching the shit. Like, mm. yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Oh shit, this one too. Shit. I'm staying far the fuck away from them shits. Any nah, Travis I'll concert. I'll be there. I'll be in the back. Though. I'm claustrophobic. No, I don't do the See, and that's the other thing about his shows. He does, the, you know how you do like floor seating? Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. GA. Mm -mm. The entire floor because I want that mosh pit look. And something else that was different, I did notice, he learned. So normally he'll bring a fan out the stage, uh, bring a fan on the stage, mm -hmm. amp him up to go stage dive. Mm -hmm. So he brought the dude on stage. Well, the dude allegedly just climbed up. He's like, yo, how'd you get up here? Mm -hmm. He making it like he don't know. Mm -hmm. Dude's on stage and he's like, all right, if you're going to be here, you got to turn up. So the record drops and the dude is just, he's like, stop. Yo, you got to turn up. So the dude said, I want to dive in the crowd. He was like, oh, I can't tell you to do that, but you got to turn up. <laughs> as soon as the beat dropped, what do you think he did? Probably, probably in crowd, jumped in that crowd. Ran, took off and dove in the crowd. So I'm like, all right, he ain't inciting shit no more. He, he learned his lesson about what them to fun say, coming. yeah, yeah. Protect yourself from, you know, liabilities and stuff. But nah, that, that show was great. I sent the link to everybody. <laughs> Mel immediately responds. What'd you say, Mel? Um, I said it was boring. Damn. I never, but, watched, I never watched a Travis Scott show, neither. That's my point, is maybe my expectations were... T Beyonce just left here. I mean, like, if the bar is that high inside my head, like, I guess I just didn't know what to expect. She ain't never... Uh, uh, okay. I know she did not, but you know what I'm saying? Like in terms People of- going crazy with Beyonce, do not Beyonce it? puts on like a, a, an incredible show. And so I'm just like, it's just him on the stage. Uh, listen, the, the set was like dope. I that. You know? The set was dope, but I was just like, it's just him she on She was the like, stage. this is not Beyonce or Usher. I'm like, you know, you want background dancers and choreography? It's Travis Scott. That's why Beyonce. I, like, so maybe my expectations were just ill-placed. Do you know any of his, are you familiar with his music? And he, like what he- Bring what he is at a show? No, we're not. No. That's why. It's, yeah. Travis Scott is is high, high energy. Think mosh pit. Think. Got it. Ranger, it's like rock star shit. Yeah, got it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what it is. And his songs are good. Oh yeah, and his songs are great. Okay. Well, to some of us. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I've, some of us. I, I've I've grown out of like with Utopia a little bit. Maybe it was just a bad trip in the car. I don't know. There's a lot of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> the production is still absolutely amazing. It's just what he did, like, lyrically. I know you don't listen to Travis Scott for lyrics, but usually he's doing a lot don't more melodically. Don't try to disarm us <laughs> of our response yeah, yeah, yeah. argument. Okay, get your response ready. Usually he does more melodically. He rapped more on this album, and it doesn't really have much replay value to me. 
And I said that. And people, usually albums grow on and me. People said that. A lot of people said that. Parks isn't. This is growing off of me. Wow. Like, like I said, the production is still amazing. Vocal production is amazing. Mix sounds, every, everything sounds great, but there's nothing there to sink your teeth into. So it's, like, not, it's not melodic enough? Is that what you're saying? I, it's not. The, the vocals, the not lyrics are not that interesting <laughs> for me to go back and listen to time and time again, as opposed to his previous works that had a lot more going on vocally. He would do melodies in the middle of his shit more. He would do... His rapping was probably a little bit better. I don't know. His rapping has never, never been the interest for me. Yeah, that's what I'm like. What do you mean by the li- lyrically? Like, lyrically, as in the words? He didn't he rely. Said? This album, he's rapping a lot more than he did on previous he albums. Mm-hmm. Like, he used to be a lot more, I wouldn't say RB because it's not RB, whatever that alternative hip hop singing mm-hmm. with the fucking weird effects on it. He yes. did that. That was more, a higher percentage on previous albums. Mm-hmm. This album's, I don't know if he does that really at all, barely. He do it for me. A little bit, up. but. I know what happened with Parks. That little Kanye cheat sheet came out that spoke about the uh, origin of all these Travis Scott songs. Oh. Yeah, well, Parks. I would that. I'm a Kanye stan. I know, but you're an engineer too. I think that as time went on, you was like, ah, oh, this is that and that's that. No, not at no, all. Get not this out of here. That, that shit was mad, but it's like, oh, this one has Kanye's main engineer on it. It's like, he, he always worked with Mike Dean. Yeah. Like, this is that. Cheat sheet was stupid. Travis left Earth with Astro World, so that album just had like replay value for years and years and years and mm. years. I think it was going to be impossible to duplicate that. I'm saying he left from from Rodeo. Well, actually, I'll go days before, before Rodeo. Dave, yeah, that was Rodeo, <laughs> Birds in a Trap, and Astro World. Just yeah. So it could be a peak. Yeah, but I'm not. This album is still great to me. I'm, I still listen to Utopia. I have my favorites. I got yeah. a couple that I just. I, I have a question. After yeah. There's a couple shits on there. I'm not like, like I'm not goals. shitting on the whole project. It's just wasn't as amazing as the first time I hear it. The yeah, pause. Let me ask you a question, Paul. Has it, so so a lot of times when somebody has a classic album, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They can never duplicate that. Are there any anomalies? Are there anybody that had one classic album? Mm-hmm. And then the second album was even better than the classic. And it's rare. Has but it's anybody happened. went? On the second album or just in Second general? album or general. Has anybody made like back to back, let's say three? Ka- Kanye West. Kanye. Kanye West. West. So it got game. better after. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, he got better album over album. Well, actually, the second album was probably not as good as the first album, but. It was great. But it was yeah, great. It was still great. But graduation, then My Dark Beautiful I, Fantasy is. I can't okay, so Kanye West anyway. is like Nas right away. Nas. Nas. You say that. Nas. Nas. Uh, Immediately. Like Nas' anyway. first two albums are. But I'm just saying, in terms of so we got better. So a lot oh, of people has feel, a, yeah, Stillmatic also would by some be considered a classic. I'm just saying for what he said. Yes, second album Hove, better, classic. Hove. Second album better than the first. Second one. album, that's rare. Uh, there's a lot of people that feel like it was written as better than Illmatic. There's, I'm one of them. That's that's, a, that's not an uncommon take. Got it. So Ghostface, that's what I'm saying in terms of somebody Ghostface, that has a classic album. and did better the next album. There's a couple people that agree. Ghostface, shit, second Dr. Album Dr. Dre. Yes, Dre. Is the Chronic, and then 2001 is light years better than. Um, chronic. Mm, let me think of who else. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to count uh, Kendrick's first actual album, then Drake. Good, then Good Kid, Mad City would be much better than the first. True, Drake. Drake. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. Mm-hmm. For you. sure. Okay. But it is kind. Of, there's a sophomore slump that is yeah, uh, that people talk about often. Yeah, like, it, like Joe, Joe says all the time, jinx. you you got your whole life to make your first album, so. A lot of people put so much into it that that first album be everything. And then now you're on a label's time for your second album. Not just tour- that. Now you're just touring to- and you're doing other stuff. You're just trying to catch up to what you did. Um, shit, Jeezy's first album is a classic. TM 101. But I don't have it as his best album, though. I have Recession as his best album. So people do it. Hmm. Somebody tell me about the I Don't Care Off. Oh, uh, yeah. Summer Walker and Meech a- after the... Uh, breakup. Yeah, after the breakup, it, it, it appears that they just trying to I don't care each other. Out, I don't care each other. So she out with her crew and extra turning up. She doing headstands, popping pussy on the car, on the stage. Like she wilding, he posting with the new chick, licking his face. They just trying to... Who can I don't care the other one? Mm. Who's winning? Subbing each other back and forth while doing these things to make it seem like we don't care. We don't care. We're not thinking about the other one when 
you clearly care. I got him way up on this scoreboard if there's a score. Why? I didn't even know there was a I don't care off because I think the girl just be fronting and sometimes like the nigga really don't care. Well, not the girl, but in this instance, the girl. But there's always one party that's not fronting. Mm-hmm. Or I that think don't in, care I think, as much as the other. I think in this instance, that's him. I only have him up because she did all that turning up and going out and cursing him out. And I'm not I'm done with cheaters, yada, yada, yada. But she's counting all his bitches. Like the next morning, she says, this is bitch number five. Mm-hmm. I thought you ain't here. You down. Mm. If you don't care, don't care. Mm. And bitch number five, also four was the limit. Like, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't. I'm not clear on what that's saying. <laughs> and by now, for me, it's predictable after the, the big public breakup for one of the parties to publicly look doofy. And in this instance, I just don't think it's me. They tried to catch him at the summer concert. He wasn't even looking at her. Yeah, he's hurt. He's looking he's at sure. the TV mm-hmm. or some other shit, minding his business. His cousin that he was helping with the groceries still got body, yadi, yadi, yadi. Fire. <laughs> like... Cantaloupe. I seen Summer's body and I seen her, the cousin's body. So, what you want me to say? You'd help with the groceries too. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And they say in the Caribbean. And I'm going in with the groceries. Yeah, you gotta help put them in. Yeah, you gotta put them up. See, it's, that, cousin, cousin, that cousin cousin the, some, shit, some shit, you know, be up on the high shelf in the counter, mm-hmm. you know, the cabinet. Like, oh, she can't reach. Was that it for the <laughs> I don't care? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was it. Just, okay. they, they out there having I a little... seen a roller skate and I ain't see her popping pussy, but okay. No, she was. They was she in was the club. She was, no, they went to the club. She was on on the couch. She might have been shooting a video too, though. That's why I don't. Might have been a video. Shoot. They did a lot. They did a lot. That little run right there could have been. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't know. No word on Tory sentencing yet, right? I haven't seen no. anything yet. I keep checking. Yeah. I was no. re- refreshing my shit all day yesterday. Or that shit was dragging too. It got to be like six, seven o'clock. I'm like. We're getting it. Well, yeah, because the judge read all of those letter, character letters, character reference letters, mm. like in court. Yeah, seven, then, then people 70 had, of them. Yeah, then people had to speak, take the stand. Then his dad said a prayer. Like, I don't know, there's some wild, wild shit going on, but. Those jurors must be, that, that had to have been a boring day in court. <laughs> He's going to read all these letters right now? I, I, I originally thought he was going to, they was going to smoke him. But after hearing what the judge said, like, I, well, I didn't hear it, but I read the transcript of what the judge said. I think this time is going to be much lighter than I expected. What was, uh, the, uh, yeah, uh, what was, what did he say? So the judge was saying the things that he's taking into consideration. Mm-hmm. And the one that really stood out for me was he was like how he was acting. Um, he didn't show any remorse throughout the entire process. Mm-hmm. But, I'm not going to hold it against them because you are to pre- presume uh, innocent. Mm-hmm. So you are to act innocent if you're on trial. Mm-hmm. So I'm not holding that against them. Because that was my big thing. Like, dog, you didn't even act like you was, you know. Sorry. Yeah, you just you just was antagonizing and moving on like I ain't did shit. Because he felt that. Yeah, but I'm lost. Part. You said the judge said that he was acting He didn't show like any he, remorse at all But he was supposed to feel like that And the judge was saying Yeah, the judge was saying like Yo, I, I'm not holding that against you Because you're supposed to act as if you didn't do anything mm. So once I read that I was like, oh mm. And then he said he is going to take into account The 70 letters And um, the people saying how he was a pillar of the community And his family and all, I'm taking all this into account Also going to take into account what that you did antagonize her in music and on social media. So I think it's going to be a middle ground. It's not going to be a smoked like I originally thought. It's not going to be a 15 to you. Well, well I think, they, they, I think they he's looking, looking at 13. 13. I, I, my original guess was, was nine, or high, nine or more. Mm. I don't think it's going to be that high now. I wasn't sure why y'all was thinking they was going to kill him. I thought so because when you waste the, I don't want to call it waste of court time, but when you drag things out like that, like when they offer you a plea, you don't take the plea, you take it to trial, you lose. You piss them off. You piss them off. And the the, the, The the antagonizing and the antics and all of that, even the shit, even even the little shit like, like Pop's explosion and what Pop said afterwards, all that shit work against you. So they will, all right, now we pissed off and we, 
it's, at the, it's the judge, it's the, the discretion of them. I got it. I, I Man, didn't think they was gonna smoke them because in, in a city like LA, they get violent crimes. Like really, not saying that this wasn't mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. but they get like real murderers, motherfuckers that'll air a whole laundry mat out and shit like that. And they might get 15 years. Mm-hmm. So for whatever took place and for what his charges are, his charges aren't shooting her. Is there a minimum? Is that a thing? Yeah, they got minimums. But, st- you know, the state got... Meg put a way. statement out, though. Yeah, Meg put out a statement. So, um, says he lied to anyone who would listen. Mercy is for people who show, show remorse. Um, and this is a tweet from um, a court reporter who's been uh, reporting on the case consistently and extensively. Megan said she struggled with whether to attend in person and her absence should be seen as her preserving her mental well-being. She said, since Tori shot her, I've not experienced a single day of peace. He lied to anyone who would listen. Um, and Megan said, mercy is for people who show remorse and that Lane, Lanes has showed none. She thanked uh, the L.A. County District Attorney's Office for their support. And she wants the sentence to be a message to any, um, for everyone um, in terms of, like, you know, violence against women. Well, we'll be, we'll be watching it. And again, I, I walk back. I don't think it's going to be nine or more. Well, we shall see. We shall yeah. see. We shall In see. In real time. Indeed. Yeah. Should be coming through the pipe anytime soon. Yeah. Sure. But um, I think the courts received like 72 letters of support from um, a bunch of different people, you know, uh, inmates that are currently housed with Tory Lanes, and also Iggy Azalea. She wrote a letter of support um, and she asked the judge to not give him a life destroying sentence. Um, so and there's our rumor report. Our rumor the, the, internet, <laughs> yeah. the internet didn't like that. Yeah, they did not like the fact that she wrote that letter. Yeah. Uh, th- why? Why? Because she, they felt like she was being a hypocrite because of her experience with her child's father, Playboy Cardi, and the accusations that she leveled against him in terms of domestic violence. They felt like it was hypocritical of her to su- send a letter of support um, for somebody who's accused of. Viol- you know, a crime that was violent against a woman. So it's kind of like, you've experienced this, so why would you be on the side of supporting the person who's accused of this? And she, respond- she responded. <clears throat> she said, for the record, I have not been in touch with Tori for months. I have no reason to be, but I do wish him well. I don't support anyone. This whole thing is full of oddities. My letter never mentioned anything in regard to what happened that night. I was told this was for a judge only yet it is being discussed in public. Mm-hmm. I never intended to publicly comment. I am not in support of throwing away anyone's life. We can give reasonable punishments that are rehabilitable instead. I support prison reform, period. I was asked to write about my genuine experiences and the type of punishment I think he deserves. I did. It's not really that interesting, but I understand why it's, I understand why it's being sensationalized. I'll see you next week to discuss pizza toppings, I suppose, LOL. Okay. Okay. Which I, I mean, I agree with her. Yeah, I'm saying I, yeah. I agree with what she's saying. Like, just because I said I don't think this person's life should be destroyed over mm-hmm. this, don't mean I support them. Right. But exactly. It's 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 so emotional. This case here. Mm-hmm. That's it's, really what it is. Yeah. It's, it's it's a far. It's either far on this side or far on that side. Yeah. Either you want him underneath the jail or you want him free. Yeah. You know, it's like there's no middle road mm-hmm. with this case. And who knows? Yeah, so that that's all we got on it. You we'll find out the verdict when you guys do today. Great. Now let's talk about Dre and Jalen Green. <laughs> talk about some fun shit, please. <laughs> and a whole bunch of homophobic. What is transgender? Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. he do it under the jail? This is right. wild shit. Uh, sniper, professional, and extraordinaire. Drea, she's on that list. She One is. Women, I told y'all to that'll do it. Mm-hmm. Think she's back? Back. She never Thanks. left the list. <laughs> she never left the list. Mm-hmm. Drea is uh, Hall of Famer. Definitely. Yeah, she's definitely in the Hall of Fame. And she was seen in a picture with Jalen Green, who was the young uh, star player for the Houston Rockets. 
that was on camera dry humping his teammate, and he did some other stuff with his teammate mm. that I won't get into. Mm-hmm. Okay. Little, little Dwighty. Mm. But uh, <laughs> that's what was going on there. <laughs> so now there's a picture of Drea and this young man walking, and Drea is 17 years older than the young man. So that was all the story, that this guy's 21, she's 38. What are you doing? I was just coming in here to Winning. toss this to Mel. Winning? <laughs> Winning. Who's Mel? She's being a sniper. No. <laughs> what? I, we don't. We don't know. They could have just been hanging out. He could be. That's true. He could be. I don't know. Helping her with groceries. I don't. I don't know. That's I don't true. know what's. I don't yeah. know what's happening yeah. here. Could you be know, going it, grocery shopping. Exactly. It could yeah. be completely man, innocent. Put your big boy shorts on. That turn up, man. Hummus. Turn up, man. <laughs> what? You know. You so, know what? She, you know what that is. Wait, what you say? <laughs> Please just. I was letting that go because oh, I don't man. even know how that made. I was trying to pick it. Right, Connecting bro. the celery to the hummus. <laughs> like, yo, dog. Yeah, that is a Jay, big age Dre, group. You know, she's a sniper, Young, man. Era, age difference, hmm? She's a sniper. She's fucking gorgeous. She is. So why when it comes to... Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. So no. because she looks good... What? You understand the sniper, the sniper vision. I mean, she's... From what I understand, she's single. He's single. Got it. I feel like they're grown ass people who could make these decisions and do what they want. Respect. Maybe it kind of helps his image, his current image right now to be seen walking with Drea. Mm. But it was, if I didn't use up all my male attacks <laughs> in the last month, I would attack right now. I mean, you're probably saying if the roles were reversed and this, was a, giving, and, um, and this was a 21-year-old woman and a 38-year-old man, people would be like, blah, blah, blah. They'd be, the, be saying, you what's saying the blah, blah, blah. grooming? Yeah. That's what, the word. What's blah, blah, blah? That. No, no. This, uh, what y'all are about to say? I, I, I'm we not, didn't say anything. Why <laughs> well, you can't just say it, so I'm we don't have to say it. You gave Leo a hard time. If the for ro- running around with young younger women, did I really? I believe so. I've heard. I kind of, I kind of said that it was like it, it's the consistency yeah, in which it happens. Yeah. You know, she didn't give him a hard time. She said that. Uh, Listen, yeah. and here's the thing. I love Leo. Okay, we were just talking about the consistency in which he dates women that are significantly younger than him. They stay the same age. He just keeps on getting older. So, but we're not talking about Leo right now. Um, talking yeah. about Dreo. We're, ta- we're talking about Dreo. Dreo. We're talking about Dreo. Yeah. I mean. We just don't know. We saw we saw one photo of them walking together. They might have actually been like, "Oh, no, hey, it's, how it's you more doing?" They are rumored to be dating. Okay, it's a rumor. True. Where did come? Where's the rumor from? Cox sources. That's hate. Can That's you react hate. to the rumor? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, can you react to the rumor? We just guess. She's in support, guys. I don't understand. She's in support. She supports. Well, then say it. A old take school, a, take, she take the bold a, stance. A thirty-eight year old having a twenty-one year old. Then I would like her to say that so we can move on. head hanging over the... If that's her take, I want to hear it. I don't know if that's her take, though. It's not really my take. I'm not going to let you put words in her mouth. It's it's really like my take that people can do whatever the hell they want to do if they are like consenting adults knock yourself out and not double standard she's saying that I'm not even I'm not even going there with the fucking double standard exactly me personally I'm not dating a 21 year old why why would you not date a 21 year old Nigga, rock your world, man. Sorry. Mm. I'm sorry, it slipped. I just don't, I don't think that we do have, we would have anything Mel in common. Mel come to work with, she'll be flipping on ish and all that shit. <laughs> she'll curse all of us out, 21-year-old rock man world. She start feeling like she, she start talking about cost and that and all that shit. No, all the shit, I made shit. <laughs> you saw that shit on YouTube? What? <laughs> Why you asking that, Ice? I'm just, just curious. <laughs> I was just curious. Yeah. You, you said you wouldn't date a 21 year old. And no. I was wondering, like, what about the 21 year old would. Dating a 21? Yeah. No. Because I don't think that we would have anything in common. Do you believe that it's some 21 year Would you date a. Okay. Uh, what? 17. Boy, it's a camera. <laughs> <laughs> 29. No, I'm going up. The other way. No. On top of the. On top of her age. I want to put 17 on top of oh, her yo, age. Oh, yeah, let me tell you something. Like, wait, wait, let me tell you something. So, my girlfriend showed me a picture of her friend's father. And I was like, ooh, he's he's handsome, distinguished gentleman. She was like, I was like, how old is he? She was like, he's 80. I was like, God, am I there? <laughs> <laughs> am I there? No, no, I don't think so. 63. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. I can- that meat is falling off the ball. <laughs> 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 
If it has it come to that, well, you're here's, at, well, here's, asking your friends about their dad. No, it was, I wasn't asking a question. It was a conversation that was happening. Pictures were being exchanged, and everybody was like, "Oh, father, he's attractive. How old is he?" And then we found. I was like. Oh. But right, so, 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 sixty-three. Does it matter? Listen, look, look. 63. Here's my thing, okay? Because I just don't want a motherfucker to have ED. I mean, well, and I was gonna ask, like, is ED mm. cap or is it really like a thing? You were coming in here to ask us about erectile dysfunction. Yeah, because wait, us, we no. were talking about earlier. We were talking about Whoa. how much how much the military spends on Viagra, Ice, which you be talking was really about, interesting. You be, you be talking about wait. ED with Mel? Well, no, Viagra. <laughs> no, we didn't talk about Viagra. But y'all be in the kitchen. About? That's what y'all be talking oh, about. Shit. Oh shit! Sorry, what you talking about, yo? <laughs> <laughs> it was it. She's trying to hold you down, nigga. She <laughs> no, she's trying my to bad. deflect. That's what it was. She no, didn't want to throw it on it. No, 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 no. That was fire. Yeah, no, I respect that. I'm sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. I gotta respect the game. He ish. told her how to publicly tell the story. <laughs> yeah, me and Ice was Viagra. I'm like, yeah. it was, nigga, Ice was lost. Was Ice. Ice. Me, I'm like, when, Ice. I, when Ice was walking me to my car. I, <laughs> no, <laughs> it was it was Ish that showed me a statistic that the military was, spends a significant like millions of dollars on Viagra for the military. I was like. Oh, he rocked your world with that one, right? <laughs> it's, why do you know that? And why are you texting <laughs> that to people? I didn't text you didn't her. Text it right here. That. We were going over topics, nah. and it was, a, it was a topic. Why are you texting that About to military me? spending to budgets. Melissa. It was a budget thing of military yeah. spending, and the military spent $46 million on Viagra. Why? They spent, they spent like three or four four million million on snow crab legs. What nigga just, spent with Caesar? I don't know. <laughs> Let's get to that. And how much they get back. <laughs> hey, come on. Holy shit. They might, have, they might have got a hard one. I don't know. Oh, yo. Holy shit. <laughs> Stupid, yo. Caesar, you better stop that shit. <laughs> Caesar, man. Nah, for real. Nah. Then he came out and thanked his wife. Man, don't come out and thank you for holding me down. Yeah, I bet. You better get them niggas that money. <laughs> But anyway, mm. all right, why are we talking about the military's erectile dysfunction yeah, again? Like, no, Mel, what, what's going on? Mel, so Come on, Mel, lead us to where we're going. Oh, no, she so said, we were talking said, about, okay. you know, it's dating, ED, like, okay. older men, and then it's just like, you know, she ED acts, yeah, comes I would never. up. <laughs> yeah. She acts as ED a real thing, but we wouldn't know. I don't know. No? You guys have never had experiences with ED? <laughs> Statistically, as many men are in the room, one of y'all has had an experience. All right, now when we start doing that to you, <laughs> hey, I'm down no, for this no, doing wait, open. No, I'm down for this doing I, open. No, statistically with the, the I don't want to hear a damsel in distress. Nothing. Not, statistically let's, let's, let's with the number. Statistically with the number of men that are in this, this room and that room. Yeah, you guys. This room. This room. Somebody has had a situation multiple, with ED. Multiple people based on stats. Yes. But when that's. To talk about it. Well, that's true. Two of us got herpes, too. We just, let's just throw all the stats out there. That's true. I've had, I've had situations with ED, but that goes without saying because I was on Perk 30s. All of us out there on Perk 30s have stories about ED. I thought it's in reverse. Sometimes. And sometimes it ain't. I think the, it's like whiskey dick. Sometimes it's mm, and sometimes it's like. Mm. Well, what about that forty? Wait, plus, wait. That, that forty something plus box. I heard get a little dry. Oh, I'm just oh, saying. <laughs> if we gonna go there, we can go there, dog. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Flip. Thank you, Flip. No. Thank you. <laughs> yo, here lies. Yo, here lies the problem. What is, you can't say that to her. I'm what? saying, herein lies the problem. Holy crap! See? <laughs> See, yo? You gotta go. That's a shotgun. That's Yo, yo, the funniest shit in the world is seeing wild rambunctious flip trying to put that chair on the table nice and soft. He was like. (laughs) So the the ladies could question our our, our ED, but we can't question ADB. I'm asking. (laughs) No? <clears throat> they can question our ED. We can't question their DB. What's yeah. DB? <laughs> Dry, Dry box. box, nigga. I'm just gonna say one. <laughs> no, we can't. I don't think. Oh, I literally right, well, just want to just want to say one word to you. All right, it's cool. Deflection. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not true. That was a literal definition of deflection. I was asking a question, and you asked it. You answered it with a question. I didn't answer at all. Uh, you answered it with a question. Y'all say it's me. 
<laughs> what? No, they don't. They don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They say it's us, but it's fine. They say it's the two of us, and I have shut up. I never for heard weeks. that rumor, though, Ishmael. What? <laughs> Women over. <laughs> I never heard that. Okay. Okay. You ain't over forty. Is this, a, is this something because they eat something, or <laughs> is it dietary? All right, we're done with Dre and Jalen. Yeah, right. yeah, I think we're done with that. Yeah, yeah we done with that. Did anybody yeah, see the uh, Did anybody see the the Reason video that's that's making its waves right now? I did. Uh, I did. I didn't Reason see. Reason did. Uh, I you said did. you did. No, I said I saw it. I saw it. I saw Reason it. and I guess TDE's president and top son Moose Musa Musa <laughs> did Fig Munity. Well, no, 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 back on not fig. fig. It was back, back on, on fig. fig. Reason and did. Reason did it, and they called him on. They called Musa on the phone, and basically, um, they should have never gave uh, black people microphone, Joe. It's our fault. Your fault. It's not my fault. I had to put a microphone in front of everybody. No, but you made everybody think they could do it. I ain't tell them to talk about that bullshit they be talking about <laughs> at all. This boy, that was. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't like this. I ain't like okay, this. Well, yeah. Tell us what happened. So, kind of when Reason was sitting on here, mm -hmm. uh, sitting up here with us, he told us, you know, he wanted to be consistent. He wanted to drop more, but basically the label wasn't letting him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So was, he was kind of saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Then they got Musa on the phone, who was kind of telling him. He started shitting on him. I was trying to say it in a nice nah, way. No, he started he shitting did, on he him. He did. He kind of he kind of took offense to what he said. He started shitting on him. He went away from the fact that uh, homeboy said, "Yo, I can't be more consistent if the label's not letting me put out music at the frequency that I want to." Mm -hmm. And then um, the gentleman Musa said that, uh, "Yo, y'all niggas that's in there from from L.A. Can y'all name me ten reason songs?" I hated that. So they that started laughing. Terrible. He like ridiculed. Up. He started ridiculing him a little bit. Um, and he's like, yo, you keep blaming the label. You keep saying this, this, and this. Because he said something about, yo, I wanted a lotto feature and, and I wanted an ESTG. ESTG feature. And then Homeboy's like, all right, so if you would have got the ESTG feature, what the fuck it was going to do for you? And mm -hmm. that's the thing. Like, that's your artist and that's how you feel about your artist. Then why is he your artist? Mm. And even then, well, he was, he, was, it was, he was dry. But I mean, what he was trying to say, and I think he maybe did say a little bit, is there is no feature that's going to get the job done for you like you have to work on your base and your foundation and don't look for the feature to save you but if you can't consistently it, put out music how do I build up enough mm -hmm. but you he know what I'm saying he responded to that too by saying you ain't never stepped to us at he did. any other time and was he like did. yo let, let, let me put some music out you wasn't hounding us for nothing and he started naming other people that maybe did do that I didn't like how he spoke to him but either in, but one publicly reason, but one reason, publicly true Publicly, that's, that's the publicly. That is is my only issue. That is true. That conversation, un, unfortunately, is one that happens often between artist and executive, mm -hmm. because the, as the artist, nigga, why are you not putting out my die line? Why you? Why my? Why I got slaps sitting in my laptop? Why they can't go out? And it's normally the label or some exec's job to level your head, and that's when they say, "Yo, don't nobody know your songs." You want us to put this album out? It's niggas in LA that can't name. Ten was a lot, yeah, but his point was: it's niggas in your don't. backyard that, don't that are fly with you that don't know a song, don't know a single. We got more work to do. Putting a lotto, anybody on the record. If you have the record, that's the other thing about records. I don't know, it hits maybe dead now, but when you have the record, you know it's the record without any of the features. You know it. It's a feeling that you get, but, but you, yeah, but you're, you're, yeah. but when you start getting the features, it start going that. at because because now I'm, niggas gonna push it more. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm telling you something that you will only know if it was your job to get one of those records, and then you got one. You mean as a label? No, as an artist, because mm. the artist can feel this is it, and the label don't believe it. True. That's and then what that's, happens? That that's totally different. But then you're not going to the label saying, "Hey, if you put this person on it, then it'll go." No, if the label ain't fucking with it, the feature ain't about to make the label spend what they wasn't going to spend. No, but that's, you said, yo, if you if you know, then you know. The record. True. Now, getting that record to work is different. But let's I'm say. I'm talking about finding the record. But if you think, as an artist, I'm asking, like, if, you, if Parks puts out a fire, he think it's the shit. Mm-hmm. 
in his heart of hearts, he thinks it's the shit. You the label man, I go to you, I say, yo, this is the one right here. He thinks it's the one. Mm -hmm. You saying, no, nigga, this is some caca. Now, what, now where are we? If he thinks it's the one, work it. Records have legs. Labels, labels are wrong all the time. But how do you work it if, if you won't let them put it out? That's why they tell you records have legs. Oh, if you won't let them put them out. Yeah. That's, that's something how different. Because that's kind of what he said. It sounded like Musa. It, it sounded like Musa heard some things on a press run that he didn't like mm -hmm. from Reason, mm -hmm. took offense to it, mm -hmm. and put the ball back in Reason's court publicly. I think it was foul to do that publicly. I think so too. Reason handled it very well. He, he did. did. He did. Shout he out to Reason for how he handled that. And the other thing I didn't like, because he was like, yo, you keep mentioning Day Free. They told us not to sign. He didn't want us to sign y'all. He said you was a substitute, substitute teacher. Substitute. Like, yeah, you, that why you should. That, you, was, you, that was whack. Again, all of his whack. Even if that is the conversation y'all have, knowing that this is public, mm -hmm. it don't take place. I saw it and knew that this wasn't some rollout shit. Oh no, no, I didn't I think wasn't this shit. Even though I, I, I've said before, you know, it, it's just a common theme with that label, where the artists start beefing with the label about not being able to put out the music. We used to call it the TDE rollout. That's the talk. That would start the blogs going, and then some music would come. But this didn't feel that way. It's I, we've seen it in the past. What I can name about three artists over there that started beefing with the label, and next thing you know, it's pick up traction, and then next thing you know, here comes some music. So it started to look a little bit. But if I'm in a deal, Ish, to get back to what you were saying, if I'm if I'm in a deal where I cannot release music at all without coming to you and kicking it with you and getting you to sign off on it, then we in a partnership and I agreed to that partnership. It means I trust whatever you got, whatever Formula. your brain mm -hmm. say need to happen with this music after I'm done with it. So if you say no, then it's just no. Y'all niggas can't put no music out. But As a creator, I would try to not sign, sign something like oh, that. Right, but you're yeah. talking about TDE. But but when when you was on Def Jam, you felt like that. No. You ain't felt like they, they trapped you a little bit and I couldn't put out what I wanted to put out, et cetera, whatever, et cetera. I, I, whatever I felt on Def Jam, even if the feelings were valid, I was I was wrong and I lacked a lot of understanding. My time on Shady is more comparable to this. Shady, that was the only time where we would go in the studio the whole day, work on a million songs, and when I left, I couldn't leave with none of it. You couldn't get a copy of it. You couldn't email it to you. You just forgot because they have control of your music. That's nuts to me. But I was the only one flipping and screaming because when you have Eminem or Kendrick or Drake or Beyonce or any of the top, Rihanna, when you have that, this is the level of security that's going on with any that's vocals true. that are laid in the studio. You're not leaving with nothing. Sorry. Whatever we, your fucking we, plan. Ain't gonna be no leaks over You'll here. You'll work on it when you come back here. That's nuts to me. Mm. Reason clearly is in that. Yeah. And he, he also said when he came up here that, yo, I can't, I got a family to feed. Mm -hmm. So if you can't put out no music and they stopping you from putting out music... I could definitely see how after a point a nigga gonna start kicking and screaming because whether I signed it or not, I might not have signed it going into, yo, y'all could have me at a four or five year lapse but without putting out projects. But I do, I do, I do subscribe to a hit is a hit is a hit is a hit. You need money to take a hit far, but if you had that record, I, when Absol came up here and said, I got the record, that hand in my face shit, is the one that got traction for him commercially on his project. Did it go as far as Hotline Bling? No, but that don't stop what it was for him and what he needed for that project. You'll know when you have the record. You'll know. You get a feeling. You'll know when you just hear the beat. But sometimes as artists, we think that we have one that <clears throat> maybe we don't. That's We'd be I'm wrong. Saying. Yeah. We'd be wrong. That's why I'm saying you'll know. That's going to come with being wrong sometimes and artist machismo and, yo, why you not fuck with me? I'm the hottest shit in the world. Mm. But you'll know when you get the one that, oh, this is going to do it for me differently. Mm -hmm. mm. But I agree that the um, the biggest problem is that it was public. Yeah. Public shaming. Yeah. Yeah. Publicly yeah. shaming your artist. I don't see how it gained you dividends. Yeah. It, it looks bad on the label. But no. I mean, but what if they try to get? What if they don't? And the even anymore? and if he is a substitute teacher, guess whose job it is to fix the, some of that? Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, the indictment is not on him alone mm-hmm. if he's substitute teacher, man. Did it seem like they want they still want him on the label? I think he because he 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 came here. He expressed a little bit of displeasure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he he, he might have been on it. his press run yeah. expressing displeasure. He was very polite about how he did. he was he, he was. It. he did he did he, he didn't did attack for way no he yeah. didn't attack for way so we don't know if that might have been his fourth fifth sixth interview with different mediums it probably was. expressing his dis his, you know what I mean mm-hmm. his displeasure and so now it's like all right let me pow- give you some pow pow it could have been that. It sounded like it. You know what I'm saying? It could have been, let me give you some pow pow. So. Mm. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I, I just I just hate. Handle that shit behind doors, man. And that's why execs don't get to talking publicly. Because they'll. Because they're going to say some shit. Mm-hmm. And we ain't going to understand why they're saying that. That's true. But it is their job to serve you the hard truth. Niggas yeah. was telling me when I was fighting for a day, nigga, I was like, you think niggas is fucking with you? This song, look at all these songs out. Nigga, you ain't shit. You, did you do this? Did you do this? The exec is always going to win because there's so many things you have to do as an artist that when you start failing and you go to them and they say, well, did you do this? Did you do this? Did, did you check all the boxes? The answer is never yes as an artist. You might not even know some of those boxes yeah, need to be checked. Know. Facts. Or you might be expecting the, the label to check those boxes for you. For you, yeah. And that's an unreal, unrealistic expectation sometimes. Yeah, the day of that is over. The label is only the one-stop shop for you if we're talking about the top, the top, top of the top. Mm-hmm. The rest of y'all, y'all have to be able to function as an indie or do it by yourself. And then the label will step in when they feel it's appropriate. But not you going up there saying, yo, it's time now, push the button. Nah, you don't control when all the millions of dollars get spent. Sorry. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a tricky game. It is. it is. It is. It's a tricky game. It's just always. It just keeps seeming like with them though. That with with that label is. I don't know if it's they run a little more ironclad over there or something. I don't know. They do. It's just you, you like everything you saying. Go. You got to go and almost treat yourself like an indie. You can't do none of that. You can't do it if I can't do no music. I can't. He said I can't. He couldn't even put a freestyle out. Yeah, but I disagree with that. That's that's not true. That's not true. I don't believe all. I don't believe all of that. Like you could harass somebody. Like if, if you just making joints every day, you could harass somebody every day for three to five years. Yo, check that. I want to put this out. Yo, I want to bomb my SoundCloud. I want to put out something every day for the year, like Crook or uh, it's a few people that did that. But you could come up with a plan and now go to your partner and get them to sign off on what this plan is. Get their support. You need their support. You can't yes. do nothing without their support. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, support. so go mm-hmm. do your job and then go f- for the support. And if you can't do that, now it's time to go home and call your lawyer and say, hey, I'm one out. Let's, let's look at the language. How, how do I get out of this? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What, 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 what do you think is next for him? What, what should he do next? I can't say because I'm friends with all of them. Yeah. Got it. I'm friends with Reason. I love Top. I love Punch. Like, I can't say what I think of this. But resolve needs to happen. Salute. True indeed. True indeed. What else we got? Oh, we're going we're to congratulate you. Oh, let me get some applause right there. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up now. Open that Hold up. So fast. Yeah, like, quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why well, ain't like open it for Drea? Yeah. <laughs> huh? We couldn't get a straight take on Drea. Oh. Got you. For, <laughs> some, a strange pinch. Reason. for some reason. For some reason, we couldn't get a straight take on Drea. Mm. Drea did, did that. Drea did that, and I'm saying this uh, respectfully, and this is satire. I know y'all don't know when I'm joking or not. Drea did this all while leaving a son in the crib that one time oh. to go to the club. <laughs> what else Drea did? Drea did some foul shit, and it ain't slow. That Hall of Fame jacket run down one <laughs> bit. Man, Niggas so- don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> you left your kid in the house? Well, I did yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was like, oh, good. <laughs> you left your yeah, kid. Yeah. Right. Fuck them kids. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That shit, that shit is up there. Yo. Nah, Dre is up there. Yeah. They don't care about them bad feet. They don't care about that bad, uh, the I bad know, cooking. I, I didn't know she Remember had the feet. bad cooking? No. I feel like. Niggas don't even remember nothing. No. No. <laughs> remember I raced my wholeness? No. <laughs> nope. Dre is lit, man. Dre is Dre. 
But he was giving you, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. We trying to give you some props, man. Oh okay. Billboard Joe. Props on me. Billboard Joe. Talk about it. Billboard Joe. I've got it up. You got it. I've got it up. You got a little write up. I got the write up right here. Billboard magazine, Joe Budden, president, the Joe Budden Network. <laughs> it has been a busy year for the Joe Budden Network. Uh. In addition to launching the new live radio music talk show, Music Lovers Only with Joe Budden on Amazon's live radio app, Amp, in May 2022, the former rapper's company developed a subscription-based audience for original content on Patreon, all while continuing to do his popular, all eponymous, the while. all the while <laughs> podcast. You memorize it? <laughs> What's more, Button Never adds, stopped. we've been able to empower emerging hip-hop and R&B artists on every episode of the Joe Button Podcast during our Sleepers Pick segments. Come on, man. Giving mm. hosts an opportunity to spotlight new music and artists. Come on, man. Ladies new artists out there. What's good? I give you Mr. Joe motherfucking huh? Button. Hey! <laughs> Turn them up. Turn them up in the headphones. No introduction needed. Uh, <laughs> no introduction needed. Y'all you know I mean? All. Familiar face. Been around the block a couple times. Y'all you know I mean? <laughs> different capacities. Uh, different venues all around the world. Speak. Good to make another list. Not even three months after the last list. Uh, oh, man. Good to be list friendly. Feels good. Y'all saw what number one did. I want to shout out to Billboard. Shout out to the rest of the power players out there. Oh, Talk about it. The power, it's the power player list. Woo! It's not just the regular list. Not the regular players. Nice yeah, no, 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 no. Maybe yeah. next month for regular players. That's, that's a nice <laughs> list right there. Yeah, so Billboard, you know, the real authoritarian. Is uh, that the word? Sure, close enough. <laughs> And music, huh? Authoritarian, I think is what you're looking for. Authoritarian. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Billboard Joe. Oh, my God. Uh, yo, this is a list, right? I'm yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Who this. Who else is on the list? list. No, everybody's on this. Them? This list is reserved for... This is an elite list. This, this is... I can feel I, it's corny me even talking about this list now. Did they number them or? No. 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 You, don't so, so they you guys want to throw out a they couple of They gave you the, the most important people in publishing and media mm. and record label and A&R and just all the different categories that make the music business run. Fire. Was this That's the list we were talking you. about last week? No. 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 Okay. And what I like about this list though. They also acknowledge like the GMs, the the you know not just the the CEO of the label. Mm -hmm. You know they gave props to basically everybody that makes it run. That's what's up. This is fire. Yeah, uh, I want to shout out to my sister Karen Civil. She made she's on the list. Let's go Karen. Uh, Let's go go, Karen. go Young Money. Uh, I want to shout out to Tim from Amazon. He's on the list. Uh, Big Tim. Uh, Tim is the man, man. Uh, one of the people moving and shaking things is a black man at Amazon. Who else is on there? Uh, Ghazi, of course. Mm. His whole crew. Tina Davis. Tina, I love you. All of the TDE niggas. Musa, Punch, mm -hmm. and uh, his dad. It's fine. Mm -hmm. All of them are there. Uh, Julie, Atlantic, Todd, the normal. Mike, Mike Kaiser, Todd, Julie. All of them. Everybody, everybody's there. So, uh, shout, again, I want to shout out to Billboard, the people that are on that list. Like and, they had, they had thank y'all. They had it broken down. It's like media, agencies, artists. Like, it's just, like you said, the entire entertainment industry. There's a whole lot of money That's in this dope, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. This is fire. This is the list of people that you want to spam their DMs if you want to get something done. I, I don't yeah. think you'd... No one. I don't think it'll work. It might work against <laughs> you. These people don't check their DMs. <laughs> yeah, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> Probably won't, but these are the people you would want to harass if you saw it. These people you want to know. Now you want to find out who their people are so that you can spend their addresses. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So again, let me hit the round of applause for the Billboard <laughs> list. That and salutes to good lists. Yeah. Finally. Mm. That's a shot of B dot. No. <laughs> Just asking. No. It's got to be clear. In case there were some shots being drawn. Anybody? Yeah. Does anybody here have shots that they want to send to anybody out there? We need yeah. a new shots. We need a shot segment. They told me I was sending shots on the last Patreon, and I, I didn't think I was. So Who'd I you shoot at? Remember when I was like, you know, it's guest base, not guest. Y'all was, uh, like, was like, yo, y'all sh uh, shooting at everybody. I'm like, mm, never. 
I don't shoot. I don't shoot shots. It's a little bit of a shot. That was a shot. That was a yeah. shot. It wasn't a shot. I promise. It was an invisible shot. Might have been target shot. practice, but he was still shooting. <laughs> Never. The gun is still in the lockbox. Mm. Um. Y'all you know, sweetie was a scorecard girl for the Nate Diaz fight. Yes. No, I didn't hear that. You guys knew? No. I saw her. Round two. Not even round. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> React. Right. And she walked out with a man that's around. She had a little rough out here, huh? <laughs> Why y'all looking at me? <laughs> I'm just saying, damn. Mm. She's beautiful. But now you understand why I'm tight about that Barbie shit. Needed that check, nigga. She probably got paid to do that. No, now you know why the Barbie shit went the way it did. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Chicken or the egg? Chicken or the egg? Egg. No, I, I agree. Now you it, it, you can see it. We're not putting clear, clear as day. It's a billion, it dollar, saying billion it. dollar movie right here. Listen, sweetie is beautiful. Please, we're not taking that away from her. Can't. I don't think she should have been the ring car girl for the Nate Diaz fight. I'm not disagreeing yeah. with you, but you got to do what you got to do to eat. Mm -mm. True. No, you don't. Sometimes mm -mm. you cannot eat. Mm -mm. You went to bed plenty of nights without eating. Sometimes you go to bed and don't eat. Sometimes that perception It's just that too comes hard to along. get off you. Yeah. That it's is too true. hard and to get off you. I'm agreeing with that. Mm -mm. And I'll take it a step further. Big ice. <laughs> um, <laughs> if they had a record that they felt really, 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 really strongly about, they wouldn't have put it there. They wouldn't have put it there. The label. They wouldn't have put it there. I agree. And she looked great. She did. She looked great. She's a gorgeous girl. But I do not think that sweetie, that's more the, that's the that's Chloe Bailey syndrome. That's a, that's a Chloe Bailey move. Mm. Protect your, protect your yeah, artist. Yeah, brand. Yeah. Protect your artist. Protect your brand. Like, you ain't got to be visible Damn. for everything. That's Sun the thing about artists. We always want to be seen. That's, see. that's, that's this time we living in now. They feel like you got to be seen. I mean, if, I if you go a long time without being seen, then... I mean, she, she, walked, she walked out with a man. I thought that that's, you know, that was a good look when she walked out. But I don't, I, when she got in the ring, I was thrown off. I'm like, damn, she look good. She walked out during the fight? Like, well. No, the, 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 the fight before that, the, mm -hmm. the women's fight, Amanda Serrano mm -hmm. versus Heather. She walked out with Amanda. Ah, got it. Yeah. And hmm. she introduced her. Oh, so okay. she double banged them paws on the, uh. On the, on she the might have got a check though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She, you got she, a check. She, no, got a check. She, she absolutely got, I got a check. check for the walkout. Yeah. And I'm going to get a check for this here. What else you need me to do? When we hit the bell? We need you to say no to some checks. We need you to say no to some checks. Nigga, the bills, the at, bills at, ain't at, trying at, to hear that. At some point, nigga, you got a, a whole nigga. You want me to tell you how many, how many verses she got about <laughs> getting money from the niggas? All of them. Verses. Nigga, like real life. Lifestyle. Right. <laughs> Lifestyle. Real life and rap. Lifestyle. Niggas sold bricks in their raps. Lifestyle. Nigga get, couldn't even get, bag up a... Go <laughs> get that money. Go get that money <laughs> from a nigga. Let me not, I'm not even saying your nigga. Go get that money from a nigga. <sighs> Conor McGregor shot a shot, though. Shooting a shot. At, At Sweetie? Sweetie. Yeah. He got a bag. Yeah, that'll help with some bills. That yeah. surely will. <laughs> And I don't even like the implication that she need help with bills. I just don't think that she should have done that. She should have. You mean the ring card part? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. In terms of a look. Um, do uh, y'all care? Oh, go ahead. I was going to say congratulations to Sierra and Russell, um, Russell Wilson. They're yeah, you, expecting their... You don't even know who you congratulate. No. Right? They're, and they're, they're expecting their Sierra's fourth child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the way that women know sport, sports... Sport. <laughs> Shout out to Sierra and her husband and whoever that guy Russell is. Russell what's, what's his name? What'd he do? <laughs> Russell Skinsky. What'd he do? Skip, <laughs> what, Flip Wilson? Like, like, yo, what the fuck? What are we Russell congratulating Wilson. for? What She's pregnant. They're having their fourth child. They're having their fourth child together. Oh, congrats. Great. Congrats again. Okay. Shout out to Sierra. <laughs> it's great y'all fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think about McConan versus everybody? McConan? <laughs> yes. Yeah, McConan versus Sway Lee, Travis Scott, Post Malone, and who else? Who else sent him some love? Was it a producer? Metro Boomin. Metro. Metro Boomin. Uh, McConan took a picture with NBA Youngboy. They was in the car, uh -huh. bobbing to some tunes. 
Uh, so apparently Metro Boomin, Sway Lee, Post Malone jumped in his DMs to say, send messages of support. Mm. And some of them was like, yo, let's get together. Let's record. When are we going to get up or some shit like that? Mm -hmm. But in the messages that McConan released, you could see all the messages <laughs> that he was sending since 2018 oh, that got dubbed. <laughs> so it's dub, 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 dub. And now 2023, Post Malone shit said, hey, dad. Yeah. Weird group of y'all out there that start calling people mom and dad. Very weird. That's not your mom and dad. Leave it be how long. Like, Leave them alone. They do it. They was doing it at all, every concert. Mother, okay, mom. You no, that's it. different. You I'm just, I'm just tell them, leave them alone. Don't say it. It's different. That's mother. It's different than mom and dad. <laughs> what? Yeah. That is different. It is okay. different. She giving you education. I, I'm I, I, you see, I'm it. setting up. I'm shutting up. Mom woman. and dad is usually applied to like uh, you know, like couples that they like, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> couples that people really, really like. They'll call them mom and dad. True. But mother is a different term altogether. Mm. Mother. Ebonics, e man. A. Thank you. Yeah, that's. I don't know. It still might be some juice in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> He ba -ba. took off. He ba -ba. took off his sweater. And there might still be some ba -ba. juice in the fridge. I don't know. <laughs> the way that mother is coming out. Ba -ba. I got rolled out a little bit. I rolled. Hey. Oh, okay. Ba -ba. Okay, big man. But anyway, Post Malone was like, "Hey, Dad, good, good seeing, good seeing you. Um, remember when we used to vibe? We got to do that again sometime soon. Some shit like that." So McConan put all these messages out. That's weird. McConan's weird. Where has he been? I don't know. <laughs> Under the stairs somewhere. But listen, <laughs> we, can, we can understand. So then him and Sway Lee went back and forth. Sway didn't like that shit. No, no, no. He's like, dog, I was just showing you some support. It was good to see you doing well. Last time you was in the news, like, it was health problems. It was all this shit going on. I'm just sending support. Mm. Stop being a fucking weirdo. <laughs> and then McConan replied with some extra weird shit. I'm not even going to read it. I don't have it. I'm not looking for it either. <laughs> but he was weird. You could look for it if you want. I, he, so you, from your stance is that he shouldn't have put he shouldn't have put it out. He should have just should've accepted. Been, no, you should. I'm never. I'm not with anybody releasing text. I feel like I've before. said that before. We you just said, said, that said that last week. Last week. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm not. I'm never gonna be with that. So, but he can choose not to fuck with them though. Like, of course. And he can say, yeah. Okay. Everybody reserved the right to not fuck with who they don't want to fuck with. Okay. Releasing my private. Texts or DMs or anything where I think I'm speaking to you privately and now I'm not, where you know that you're about to speak to the public, but I don't have that because mm -hmm. I'm think I'm just talking to you. That's foul. All right, so that Sway Lee says, "Bro, I was saying that to you, Goofy. Not yeah. any reason besides spreading love. I'm good in the game. I knew you when you was throwing up on shrooms, bro. Relax. Oh, wow. The fuck. I saw you on the timeline, heard the new jam, and privately told you it was hard. Don't be that guy. That's funny though, bro. For real." And then he replied to Sway Lee saying, yes, it was a beautiful garment and you stay booked, busy, and working. It's no denying. You have a nice day. Post a link if you like the album rollout. You should have been on outside, but you was ignoring a nigga. Mm. Sway Lee replied back. Yo, we can chop it up anytime you see me, though. I don't do that public drama shit. Stay up. And he said, we'll chop it up. It's love. It's just a conversation. Don't be mad. That the only way I get support is if some drama going on. You know the music fire, and you know everybody been trying to deny it. It ain't no beef. You stay up too. Oh my God, he po he put this shit out. Well, no, this is that part. Like once, what Joe read when he sent the message, mm -hmm. and and McConan put the post up mm -hmm. showing these. Mm -hmm. This rest of this conversation took place in the comments now. Mm. Yeah, like Sway Lee jumped in the comment and said, "Yo, bro, you being goofy. I was just showing you love." And then the rest of that happened from there. I read this in two totally different tones. Okay. McConan thinks he's playing this way. Lee's like, yo, dog, all right, cool. I'll see you. I'll see mm. you. Like, you want to be on that goofy shit? Cool. Well, whenever we see each other, I'll see you. Got it. Because if you do show the fact that you've been trying to reach out to somebody for man long, I mean, as soon as it seems like you're getting some traction, they reach back out to you. It do look crazy, and a lot of us experience that, and we feel away. Niggas feel away. But I wouldn't publicly put I that out I wouldn't put it there. out, no, that's corny. Yeah, and if a nigga jump on your dick, once you start getting traction, you know that the the, the relationship is is not genuine. True. So you tax that one. So you use it for what you use it for. <laughs> As a leverage, yeah. Now, he could have just calmed down and just got mixy and just jumped right back into the loop. But let's see. 
See if the nigga, you know, he's, he's on the ledge. Do y'all think McConan gonna catch, catch another one? I haven't heard the snippet, but it's, it's possible. Snippet of what? Whatever Sway Lee said was fire that he put out. Oh, I didn't even know if that was McConan's song or not. But. Oh. I think it's possible. If you caught one, you could probably catch another Yo, one. Yo, if you're a talented yeah. dude, you're a talented dude. You could be weird and be a talented nigga. Uh, hey, listen, y'all safe, I'm uh, safe. Uh, I'm just no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's that nigga's all right. Um, Flip, do you, think that you'll hear, do, do you think that you'll hear another McConan hit in the next three years? No, I, I, you didn't ask me. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't, Depends. I don't think so. It's over, Dawn. You think so? It's over. It's over. Don't do that. Listen, enough Tuesdays went up. Niggas, niggas said the right. same thing. Rest in peace. Niggas said the same thing about Shorty Law. Fifth had to back, go double back and apologize. Niggas catch on. <laughs> niggas would just be saying shit. No, it's the truth. Nobody said that about Shorty Law. 50 said D for L would not make another hit record. That's what 50 said. And they did. All right. And then Shorty 50 came back and <laughs> up signing him and apologized. I was wrong. Fifth said his interview out there. I was wrong about. 50 signed D4L? No, he signed. Shorty Low was like part of G Unit at one point. All right, you got some queens. Yeah, I, I that. Never, no, you didn't know that? I don't have. I didn't no, know I don't know. I, yeah, I, I but 50 said that about them on, like, them niggas can't. One hit wonder. Then Shorty Low came up with They Know and fucking tore the world up. And oh, and I gotta, Ching. I gotta apologize to Chingy. It's too many dudes coming up to me in the street saying that Chingy never slept with a transgender person, and that was all a lie. I can't spread lies. Can't. Not you. Well, I could, <laughs> and it's fun sometimes. <laughs> but no, nah, if Chingy didn't do that, then he didn't do that. Yeah, talked about that. You weren't here. No. We can move on sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, no. it's okay. Well, in other no, news, no. Um, they just announced that Made in America has been canceled. The festival. The festival. Okay. Which one is that? It's too many Philly. festivals. Philly, yeah. um, Labor Day weekend. Headliners. Who, who's were, is that? Oh, uh, that's Budweiser and I think Hope had something to do with that before. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. Oh, okay. Um, headliners were SZA and Lizzo. Mm. I don't know. If, I don't know. There's a correlation between... Lizzo's current issues mm -hmm. and the festival being the canceled. Festival I don't think so. Canceled. I don't think so. They could always. Y'all seen them girls issues. interview on TMZ? The dancers? Yep. I did not. I didn't see it. Harmful? I, I have nothing to say until y'all see it for yourselves. Okay. Oh. And get me the fuck out of here. Would it be a reason don't, for them to cancel try, Made don't in America? Try it. Don't try to get me. Oh, I don't know nothing about Made in America. I'm saying, would it be a reason for the. All of the Lizzo shit out. is a reason for business to, to, to pull out. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Yes. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Does it, does it seem convincing? He's saying yes. What? The TMZ interview, right? Yes. Is it convincing that they got to... I want y'all to watch that interview for yourself, but I'm answering-ish in terms of, yeah, businesses. Businesses are looking at Businesses to a season. That's crazy. But why wouldn't they just find a different headliner like Coachella yeah. did? Because that was a nightmare for Coachella to do, bro. That's also yeah. true. It's a nightmare to do that. Coachella's probably the only one with the bag enough to even be able to pull yeah, off that Yeah, because it was a stick-up, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was a stick-up. Made in America, you figure you're about three, four weeks, well, about four weeks out. It's a little close. I'm tight. If I was if I was going, I'd be tight. You already made plans. You might have booked your hotel already. That's true. Get the insurance. Oh, well, oh, well. Crazy. Salute. What's the Salute reason they gave? I didn't even see a reason. It's possible, that the, it's possible that the ticket sales, whatever reason they're giving, the ticket sales just weren't really doing it's much. It's possible. And to save but face. You, you're basing that off of a lot of people canceling their tours because ticket sales. It says canceled doing. due to, quote unquote, severe circumstances. That ain't no right. ticket sales. <laughs> it says mm. the ca cancellation is due to severe circumstances outside of production control. The Canada wildfires. Ah, the, ah you know what? You know that's what? what it was. It's not that's even, it. yeah. Well, that's... sorry to the people that had a great event planned and now you don't have shit to do. But it's been a summer chock full of great shit to do it's, uh, as far as entertainment. I keep saying that. Uh, Dave Chappelle, I can, can't wait to get here. Can't mm -hmm. wait to get to New York. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait. Mm -hmm. And an Invest Fest is in Atlanta. My fantasy football draft lines up to whereas I'm in Invest Fest for Atlanta and voiding the investy people. Are you not going to give a speech? I'm about to ask no, you. No, no, no. A little, little, little four hour, little three hour? No. Mm -hmm. It should just be working as your favor. 
How's that my favorite? I'm just saying, like, meaning, like, it's convenient. I want to go out there and see, uh, like, Ray Daniels. I wanted to sit and do his podcast, 85 South. I wanted to do their podcast. Nice, like, nice. it's podcasters that I was trying to get with that when I'm talking to them, they're like, no, nah, it's, it's Invest Fest, it's Revolt Week. Like, people are crazy out there. Atlanta's going to be mixy. And that's it. Atlanta's going to be mixy. <laughs> what? You going there? I didn't say Is two you going? words, bro. To Invest Fest? Yeah. 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 You speaking? Nah. See, you sitting in front row or back? I just want to make sure. Bro, I'm just going to Invest it'll, Fest, bro. It'll tell so me, it'll tell me some bro. things. I'm going to Invest Stage pass. Fest. Back. When, when you going? You going for the whole weekend? Yeah. Saturday, Sunday. It's Friday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, you work on Friday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or not. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> are you, are you, oh, wait, you landing in Atlanta Friday night? <laughs> Ooh. Is that when you land? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going there too. Why am I get all quiet? <laughs> Are you landing Friday yes, night in Atlanta? Nigga. <laughs> See, that's why niggas get quiet because you. <laughs> it ain't a hurricane, nigga. <laughs> it's, a, it's a flight. Mel, you going to invest first again? Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm going out there. Mm -hmm. But I'll be getting there Saturday. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to get there on Sunday. You going to invest first part? I don't Shit. think so. <laughs> it's a good time. But salute. Yeah. I'd like a little event where the scammers get to talk. Like, I'd like to hear from Caesar right now. <laughs> if Caesar was going to be at InvestFest talking at 6 o'clock, guess who's going to be out there at 5.15? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glued. If him and Envy get up there and just gave a seminar, <laughs> all right, y'all. This is how you really flip these houses, all right? I, I would be all one. ears. Oh, they man. They got Envy on the flyer, but no Caesar. Oh, if Envy, that's good enough for me. I'll, I'll be in Envy's class. Wherever Envy's speaking at, I'm there. All right, what else? What else? What else? What else? UPS workers strike. That's what I want to talk about. Okay. I, was, I wasn't aware. Quick. Quick. Grand opening, grand closing. Oh, yeah? Quick. They, they paid up? Quick. Quick. <laughs> Wait, really? nobody oh. listens. <laughs> Wait, nobody oh, listens. <laughs> I, I keep saying that it will happen fast if we just have some unity and chill for a week or two. Them UPS workers was like, nah, this ain't right. We finished, all of us. The UPS people thought about all of the goods that they ship. A lot. Which is a lot. The whole world. <laughs> all of the teams. numbers that would be affected. Lawsuits. And they came back and paid the part-time workers, the part-time workers are getting like $21, all of them. Mm. All of them. Yeah. The Teamsters. The Teamsters. Full-time work. Oh, I'm yeah. there. No, oh. the Teamsters union said it secured pay raises for, United, for UPS workers, averting what would have been the largest strikes in U.S. history. Um, mm. They put $30 billion in new money on the table as a direct result of the negotiations. Which the Come same on. thing could happen for like SAG and, Come on. and AFTRA. Full-time workers, $49 an hour, Oof. most of them now six-figure workers. Wow, amazing. that's amazing. That is amazing. Mm, mm, mm. What? Shout out to UPS. Uh -huh. maybe, they, maybe they can put the packages down nicely. nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Stop throwing my shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That's, 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 that, that's, the, that's that Teamsters union That's right Teamsters, there. Joe. Yeah. Mm. Salute. Exactly. You think is the average pay for a full-time employee now at UPS full-time is 49 bucks an hour. That's a hundred grand. Hey, this pod and shit don't work out. <laughs> don't be mad. UPS is higher. It ain't so such a dish no more. No. No. UPS and Teamster Union reach a preliminary deal, $30 billion, covering 340,000 employees to avoid a strike. Existing part-time employees receive the raise to at least $21 an hour part-time, while full-time employees were averaged 49 bucks an hour. You say that's great. Guess what it means? By the way, we can make that 490 bucks an hour. What is the cost to ship something? That's hey, where right, the money comes from. They're not paying the raise. You're paying the raise. Well, yeah. Well, well, if you look at what you're paying to ship things now, you're definitely paying the raise. <laughs> there you go. They're so, going to pass that cost so, off. Somewhat. Yes, yeah, so you got to pass the cost off. 
I'm not mad. Me either. I mean... So wait, where are you saying the, the cost is going to be passed us, off to? Us, to people that are shipping yeah. things. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's like what he was saying about yeah. Walmart. He's like, yo, if you pay them more, they're just going to raise the cost of items in the store. Mm -hmm. So right. the, the executives are not going to take a cut. Right. At all. They're not going to make less money. Mm -hmm. We're just going to go increase over here or cut costs Deodorant over here. Deodorant going to cost more money. Bacon yeah. going to cost more money. Bread going to cost more money. Mm -hmm. So, Deodorant, hey, listen, them bread. boys got it. They went and got it, though. I'm at. Shout out to UPS. And, and that shit is a, uh, it's a necessity. So you got leverage. It's a necessity. If they could throw up $30 billion on a table, imagine what the fuck they doing, <laughs> bro. So they came to the, to the table with $30 billion more dollars. Mm. Oh, shit, we found another 30 back here. I, 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 <laughs> my bad, dog. Yo, my bad. I know I we told y'all the I highest forgot. we could yeah. do was this, but my yeah. man right here had the 30 on him, so. It's a necessity. Yeah. Mm. Shout out to the unions. Definitely. Did you finish Full Circle on HBO? Uh, well, Max, whatever the fuck. What do you mean finish? It's a limited series. Limited at what? At like seven or eight episodes, maybe seven? There's not seven episodes out of Full Circle. Yeah. I watched the whole thing. You finished Full Circle? Yeah. Oh, then I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. My answer is no now. Okay. All right. It's a series. I'm at episode five of Full Circle, and it don't seem like it's close to the end. Yeah. It, um, so you saw the finale, you're telling me. Yeah. It's six in here. Um, I yeah. have Max open six. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was like, it was six or seven. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Melissa Ford. Yeah. The sixth episode, you're telling me, is the season finale of Full Circle. I want to say it's the series finale. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's, a it's a limited series, so it's not coming back. Oh, then I'm, if what you're saying is true, I'm going to kill this when I watch Oh, no, that is, yeah, it is, she's right. It's, it's the finale. Yeah. Oh, then I'm slamming this. Yeah. You, if you want to slam it, please. I mean, I haven't seen any of I'm it, so. not going to. And it is the series finale. Yeah, I'm not going to like advise. I was actually shocked. What a crock of shit. I was actually shocked that this was on Max. You know, I, I have a hard time calling it Max because it's fucking HBO. And HBO well, Pro it's not necessarily. HBO yeah. has its own division within Max. Okay, well, this yeah, is definitely Max. not some the HBO. Some of that HB shit is Cinemax. Some of that shit is this HBO. This is Cinemax. Is. This yeah. is Cinemax because this is not HBO quality, quality programming. It's not. Even with all, like, you know, the, the, the stars that are involved in this, in this, um, in this series, no, I'm not, I'm not giving the referral. So yes, can, you gotta go see it. One? You can definitely skip this one. Is it one. good, though? I'm too close to the end if it's only six episodes. You said you're on five, so it's only yeah. one yeah, You might as well watch the last May episode. as well watch the end and then, you know, deduce what you, you know. Nothing about five says that this is ending next episode, but I don't want to keep sounding stupid on the pod because I said it already. Yeah. I, yeah. I watched the whole thing and I was so like, skip it. Mm, yeah. My man got this, um, got billions. Cite your source. Who's, your, man. who's your man? I can't. Who's your That's friend? Good. Ice. Who? <laughs> 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 He's got the final. Is that season. what you be meaning when you keep saying my man? It's always just uh, ice. ice. <laughs> no, it just depends. I, you know, I don't want to be Rat Ronnie. I'm just saying my man's got the billions. And, and Rat Ronnie. What the whole season? I thought he, I was going to get that got, this I weekend. Got, you know what I mean? I got the first seven episodes <gasps> of the new season. The I final. The it. final season. I said, "Yo, let me get that." That shit fell on deaf ears. I'm like, "Oh, all right." I can't bro. I can't. Winning time is back. Winning time, Winning time is, is back. back. Yeah, let's change the subject. <laughs> yeah, this guy right I here. watched the first episode of that. That was good. That was great. That was cool. I, I seen half of it, and the shit ain't come back on. I was tight. You know, you HBO to keep running throughout the, you gotta the day. You got to unplug your Apple box and put it. <laughs> Apple box? <laughs> you don't have Apple? It's Apple an Android TV? box. <laughs> <laughs> you got Apple TV in your house? It's got Android TV in his house. I don't know what I got in my house. My you girl, know if you had Apple TV. My girl Roku. deal with all Roku. that shit. <laughs> my girl got. You got 2B? I, I got all that shit. <laughs> you got 2B? I don't. Dog, my girl handles that. All right, you I got, got all of the stuff, though. <laughs> you got a big dog. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, hey, I'm, big saying, dog. I'm, I'm getting them <laughs> Apple TV for Christmas, yo. I watched the Tetris movie on Apple TV. That shit was actually fire. Tetris movie was great. That shit was great. What, creators actually won something. <laughs> Sorry to spoil it. That was a spoiler. Uh, my bad. Mm. That shit was fire. That, that, I saw that too. Movie. I watched it. That shit was great. And then um, I, I this popped up on my HBO uh, Max, as you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's called Kim versus Kanye, The Divorce. Mm. It's two parts. Kanye's story, Kim's story. <gasps> wow. I'm going to go ahead and skip that one personally. Nah, I'm going to watch that one. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> I'm going to watch that one. I'm going to click play, <laughs> sit down and watch that one. Just money be falling out the sky. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. going to sell my divorce story to you. Right. <sighs> Nothing is 
sacred. Sacred anymore. I mean, I guess if you're going to get a breakup, you might as well make some money off the yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. They put everything else out there. What's, what's the difference? COE. Yeah. Man, what's the wrong with the world? It's a content driven world. So it is. We Capitalism. Gotta find a way to sell some shit. Value Capitalism. for value. We're part mm-hmm. of the show at, my nigga. Uh, Michael. What's up, Mike? Mike? Won't say your last name on air. Mike. Michael says, good afternoon. I hope y'all are having a great week and thank you for what you do. I recently ruptured my patella tendon and tore my quad tendon and the pod helped me through it. Oh, I appreciate that, Michael. Patella is the kneecap, right? I have my, I don't know, I'm stupid, man. I have my own personal training business and to set myself apart from the competition, I added massage therapy therapy to my arsenal. (laughs) So now I offer that to my clients along with the workout session that we do. I I even got some training with manual stretching too. Good for you, Michael. Yeah. The issue that this has presented is my girl isn't very fond of the new skill. Sure. Yeah, don't say I've that. had clients come more frequently, tell friends, and my girl thinks it can't just be the massage. <laughs> which I get because she's never experienced the massage. Oh, I never massage. gave her one, but that's because she never let me practice on her when I was whack. <laughs> These issues have caused arguments, and I recently got offered to do a house call for a nice price. My girl is not with it. Mel. Michael is standing in this stand, yo. Stan. Stan's real name is Mike. (laughs) Oh, my God. Got you. Go ahead. Good night. Is that a callback from 90 episodes ago that y'all are doing right now (laughs) that the audience should remember? Uh, Mel, from your perspective... (laughs) Am I wrong for going to do it anyways, despite her not wanting me to? And do you think she's in the right to feel this way? If you need any clarification or have any questions, feel free to call. Thank you for your time. Uh, oh, so he ain't even asking us. He's asking Mel. Okay. He's trying to let Mel know the services he offers. <laughs> <laughs> A lot um, of people come up here and try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think that if there's ever a discrepancy between you and your mate, whatever that may be, they don't want you to do something and you want to do something, that's a conversation that really has to be had, you know, like down to like the nuts and bolts. Um, I just, it sounds like she doesn't take what he does seriously. It sounds like she doesn't, she sees all these videos online of all the guys massaging women who are not real massage therapists. Mm. And she's thinking about that when it comes to her man giving massages. And so the idea of her man going to a woman's house to give a massage, I can see why she'd have a lot of issues with that. When do my male attacks replenish? (laughs) (laughs) Can I go pee? When do they... (laughs) What do you get? listen? Hey, rep- feel free. Come jump in. The no, water's I ran warm. Out of them. No, come on. In September, I better get new mail attack. I want to attack Mel. <laughs> you got to read the problem. Yeah, she's taking yeah, it yeah. too serious. Not that she's not taking it serious. Mel, that's what you pulled she's from her. She's taking it. She's taking it too serious. <laughs> yeah, that's what you got. That's what I got. That's what I got. What do y'all think about what he's saying? I think that he should. You know, he did what he's supposed to do by I, going there and doing. She can't tell him. I think that's... Listen, I, I hold think, on. Let me finish my statement. Sorry. She didn't support him initially. She didn't allow him to practice on her when he was whack. Now he got his he got his ranks up. She's watching how these niggas massaging niggas on Instagram, massaging women on Instagram, being seductive. She probably think her man is going to do that. Mm-hmm. Problem is, you know, he's keeping it solid. He's just doing a job. I personally, ha- I don't even understand her not wanting to be the practice model for this uh, please practice on me all day all night no that's easier said than done depends well, on how whack they were oh I'm gonna tell yeah. you if you're whack and I'm gonna tell you how to get better nah, one thing I do is I get massaged you sit tickling you for 20 minutes you're gonna be <laughs> fucking tight I will be I, <laughs> or if he hurts if it hurts you yeah. but, but that's a part of his market analysis true I agree but yo I'm you're saying. a little too tough right there you gotta we don't like it as hard as that you gotta you could see your girlfriend not wanting to go through the study hours that you have to put in to learn a craft with you 
You could see that. To, to me, if I was his girl, I would have used that as an opportunity, like a bonding experience. You know what I mean? Like I would have used that as an experience to bring us closer for me to. Um, to what? His girl don't pay us to help her. <laughs> we helping her. <laughs> he paid. Facts. That's true. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. Ish. Leave her. So I'm <laughs> That's saying, what I'm saying. What I was saying, th- uh, that's my way of saying I think she's in the wrong. This nigga said, leave her. That's my oh, way so of that's saying. That's what you would have done in that That's case what I'm saying is I, th- I think that she's in the wrong. She should have fo- she should have shown a whole lot more support with, you know, for him trying to expand his business. And she should have offered herself up as like, you know, the practice, you know, model. And then also given feedback as to how we can get better. That's what I personally would have done. I'm surprised she didn't do it. So they might have deeper issues in their relationship. But what do you say, but what do you say to the woman that, maybe want you to do better with your business, but don't want you to actually go about the steps to execute. Two, it's, it's I think, two it's, she I think she don't really I, want you to do better with your business. That, yeah. That you, it's just all talk. Yeah. It's two you, things. One, you ain't let me work on you when mm-hmm. I was trying to get my game up. Two, he's petty because now he's saying, I don't want to fuck with you because when I was getting my game up, you wouldn't let me. That, yeah, girl. it's weird That's to corny. have that little pettiness. That's corny. Yeah. But... Now he said, I not only incorporated massaging, I also incorporated a new level of stretching. Mm-hmm. So now I'm putting that leg back. You know what I mean? I got to get the good. You know what I mean? So I think that his girl is mad insecure now based on what she's seeing on the gram. I'm leaving her. I'm leaving her. It's, to me, it sounds like there is a deeper issue in terms of the lack of support that she provides in their relationship. And it's not just, this is just the surface level shit that's like revealed the deeper problem. So he it might may have be, to, Because yeah. I think he's being petty by not giving your girl a massage now that you should That's the part that I don't think is petty. I do. They in a relationship, my nigga. Yeah. Like, we not holding tit for tat. Yo, you ain't helped me, let me massage you Stop. when I was up and coming. Now I'm not going to give you a massage and I'm really, really good at it. I think that's petty. Mm. I agree. That's some childish shit. <laughs> Y'all just be. Let me shut up. I ain't about to fight. I'm not, capping. Yeah. I'm not caping. I'm not caping. You know, I, I think that we are in a relationship. Petty. Yeah, it's petty. You being vindictive to your girl. I don't look at it that way. I'm not looking at it from the spiteful as, aspect. I'm looking at it from. Spi- oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's spiteful. Yeah. And what y'all are saying is spiteful. I'm. My perspective is not that. My perspective is of. The guy who's just working on his craft, mm-hmm. right? In one paragraph, he told me he added three new things to his arsenal. Mm-hmm. And she don't that, know how good he is. That speaks to the ambition to me. Yeah. If you added those three things, by the time you see where these house calls and shit start to take you, yeah, he's going to be busy and working. Mm-hmm. Most men, I don't want to speak for most men, a lot of men, when you get home from the work day, want to decompress. Like you want to disattach, di- uh, disassociate from uh-huh. the work uh-huh. stuff. Uh-huh. So if you wasn't helping me back when I was whack and I finally got it popping now and we lit, when I come home now, I'm not massage man. I'm, you I'm your, your boyfriend. I'm I'm, of course you girl. could. I, but his, but I didn't take from him that he and, wouldn't and, give and her one. That's what I was about to say. I, he, I, what I took from it is not what you saying. Yeah. Like, yo, if I'm a, if, I, if I, pod, when I come home, my girl be like, what y'all talk about? Dog, I don't want to talk about that when I come home. Mm-hmm. You understand nice. what I'm saying? I've been talking for yeah, seven, eight plate. hours. I don't want to talk about that when I come home. So I, it's, most times I don't even remember because we so, discussed so much shit. Mm. What he said was, I won't show her now how good I am because she didn't support me when I was whack. That's what he said. That's weird. He's and not that's saying what you said. and vindictive in that point. Yeah, he, that's not what he's not, not saying. saying I don't feel said. like it or I'm just decompressing. No. And he's saying like, no. no. I don't want to show you because you should have let me show you before yes. when I wanted that's to. That's not what he said. What he said was, she don't get why people keep on my massages, which I understand because I never gave her one. But that's because she never let me practice on her when I was whack. Exactly. Period. Exactly. I never gave her one because she didn't let me practice on her when I was whack. But that's a tit for tat thing. It is. Okay, that don't. But he's yeah, not indicating that, that, that he won't. Though. Yeah, he's not. That indi- don't say yeah. to me I won't give her one. That says, hey, when I was learning up how to be the, that nigga, yeah. she didn't get one, so that's why she never got it's one. It's saying up until that yeah. point, but moving forward, that's how I'm taking it. it's it's almost like it's like a moot point to even discuss because he's not really even saying that. He's just basically yeah. saying he's asking about her lack of support and how should he how should he read that? She didn't want him to go to the house call, and he did it anyway. Somebody asked me if I would be comfortable dating a masseuse, and I'd be like, "Yeah, absolutely." I've, like, done, I've done it. Yeah, like it's great. Yeah, I wouldn't feel away. 
I wouldn't feel insecure. Would, I you, wouldn't, feel away, would you feel away if he was doing house calls and shit? Like, I wouldn't give a shit. Let me ask you a question. Mm. The new way that these dudes are out here massaging. They are not, I, it, I say again, they are not massage therapists. Those are yo, not massage yo, therapists. Some of them niggas got only fans. Who said? I'm, I say. Some of these niggas might be certified and they added a Child, twist and a spin night. to it. Having good sex night. with me, bro. I know a, one of my homegirls, it's a, two dudes let from me, Jersey that be doing that look, shit. Look, let me tell you something. Massage, massage therapists that have invested money into that career and they have a lot of respect for it, they are annoyed with those guys kind of putting a stain on the industry and what massage therapy is about. Massage therapists, first of all, they, oh, there's this whole kind of like kind of sexual connotation to providing somebody with a massage. You know what I mean? So you have Which to- Which is dangerous, by the way. Exactly, it is. Extremely dangerous. So you have to be able to create those boundaries while you're putting your hands and oil on somebody's body. You know what I'm saying? So- Prof extreme professionalism is how you establish the boundaries. You ask yeah. a lot of questions like, are you, are you comfortable with me massaging this you part of your body? You know, wrapping things up so things don't get exposed. I know the difference between somebody who is just trying to feel me up and somebody who literally understands like modalities because they were trained to do so. Now, what if that per is it possible mm -hmm. that that person who does understand modalities and, mm -hmm. and is Modal. a licensed a licensed massage therapist mm -hmm. can see that see this boom happening on the internet and say, it I is. can make some money like this. Let me add that. Or let me, all right, you can get the regular massage, but you can also get this too if you want it. Like I'm going to offer it but, uh, because he's, it's he's, a demand he's for He's probably, it if that guy who can do, who does one and is thinking like, well, let me cash in on that movement he's probably not going to promote that because that will harm, that will hurt his professional business. But Mel, also the erotic masseuses, Wait, huh? the, the women yeah, know I, I, they, they if, wouldn't if promote that's his. a boom and no, that's... No, you are wrong. I, I don't... Okay. You she's, would you definitely think, promote that. I'm not... I'm, she I'm, is wrong. I'm really, not wrong. I'm not... Let me no. explain this. Okay. The women that these guys are doing these types of massages to... That's what they want. They want it. They want that. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm about to say that. Which is my... Is what I'm market doing. for. So what Mel is saying, and I, I get massages frequently, mm -hmm. yes, there's a professional aspect to a massage. They cover you up when you roll over so they don't see anything and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. The women that are going to these masseuses for that, they are expecting that. Yes. I'm, and that's... It could be, I, it I'm could not be spicy. talking about It could be them. spicy she's food. So it could be bland so food. I, if I know that you want this, I have a but certain she said, menu. I'm not talking about that. She's saying that. a nigga with the, with, the, with the proper credentials that's known as a great masseuse is not going to promote the erotic massages. And because I'm, it takes there's away... All, there's already a stigma with massage yeah. therapy where people look look at them as sex workers and they're yeah, often exactly. put in dangerous situations because people think that they are sex workers. So usually... Most people that are licensed professionals are not it's trying to make it look like they're sex workers. Thank you, Parks. That's what she's trying to say. I know y'all are getting too extremes, but there's definitely it's a way totally to promote different. that yes. you do in-home work and not look like and you're that you type of And you are speaking from a female mm -hmm. perspective. We're not talking oh. about these are men. <laughs> Parks, really? This is crazy. No, no, Parks has told about before he dated a female I masseuse. Mm -hmm. And he said that that shit is dangerous because you're putting yourself in harm's way, potentially, with a naked man. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. These are men. So mm -hmm. we take away some of the harm, the physical harm that they could potentially encounter. Some okay, of it. So. It's still a harmful potential aspect. Mm -hmm. But you take away some of that. And then again, my client base know what they signing up they for. They know what they signing up for, yes. My client base knows what they're signing up for. I could be a licensed massage therapist, put a spin on it. Because I watched some of them videos. Them niggas don't be just in there rubbing the chicks up. Them niggas be putting their elbow. They be doing all of that shit. So, again, it has some therapeutic um, qualities or that come along with it. They just put a spin on Yo, it. It's like old rappers saying it's not, it's not hip hop. Argument. Number one, they stop addressing the issue and start attacking your character. When this happens, expect nothing else productive to come from the conversation. It's true. It means they have no other point. They have no other response. They've shifted strategy to the last person standing, and typically by whatever means necessary. Thanks, Number Jefferson. two, when the argument is going in circles. If you find that the two of you keep talking in the same place and you arrive at the same spot every single time, bring up the same point, it means you don't go another lap, you go for the exit. It doesn't mean you can't try again, but it means that the words are not working. And number three, when you're emotionally spent. When you start raising your voice, when you start interrupting the other person, when your emotions start running too high, That's good it's your body saying you know. stop. Please stop. When you're emotionally spent. Yeah. That's when you get the best shit. Oh, man. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, shit. My bad. Uh, Jefferson. Mm. Whew. 
I don't know if we helped you at all, Michael, but we tried. Oh. <laughs> Y'all so full of shit. Would you, would you, uh, oh, I can't ask that. If the role was reversed, would you date, could you date a masseuse? Absolutely. All of y'all could date a masseuse? I have, well, so. Well, you ain't with her. That's true. <laughs> but we didn't break up because of anything massage related. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all too? Mm-hmm. I, I can date strippers. Yes, I could date a masseuse. Yeah, I could absolutely not saying date that, but I'm just saying I can, yeah. Yeah. I dated a stripper masseuse. Nice. <laughs> mm. Beth, 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 yeah, no, nah, it ain't no shots. So I'm cool. Okay. Anybody else have something they're dying to get off of their heart? <laughs> and you can send shots right here, too. This is the space for sending this shots. Right here. No, I'm good. Got runway right I'm here. Good. Damn, damn, my first day bad niggas don't want to send shots. No. Who does send shots? Y'all all that peaceful shit on it. Y'all, all that shit y'all did while I was going being peaceful and friendly. Nah, shots back. You shoot them. So send it. I got to find I to Come out. <laughs> I'm here playing duck hunt. I'm here waiting, <laughs> waiting for them niggas to come out the bushes. I'm playing duck hunt. Uh, oh, man. Good part. Hope we was able to help y'all with what transphobic means. Uh, what else did we help with? Nothing, really. <laughs> we don't have your best interest in, in mind. We didn't help. We don't. Don't skip that little tagline in the yeah, front of the actually, podcast. Play it man. again. Play, run it back. We, we need to, to loop it. We're going to start looping in the front. Okay. Shout out to chairs. Yo, white people out there, act straight. <laughs> Folding chairs all over the country. This is intimidation. It is. <laughs> this is. Uh... You're making parks uncomfortable at work. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Lizzo, I'm a, y'all. I'm a, Them chairs to your back, on, to your I'm face, I'm can happen. I'm up. Keep us in your prayers. Wait, what? Huh? Fist, just fist. Just everybody got fist together. Mel, why is your fist so cold? <laughs> I'm a girl. I'm She's always cold. fucking cold. Don't blame it on women. You need. Well, a, we're always fucking cold. Hands, you feet, nose. Nigga, bad. bad. Line, women, head, women, feet always cold too. Oh, my feet are feet. Why touch my nose? Hands and feet always. No, I, to go to jail. I do. <laughs> What the f- Mel? You're come like a on, puppy, right? Come on, <laughs> you're not earthy, <laughs> and you, you're not a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> you can be whatever you want. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, are you a puppy? Oh. Are you self-identifying? <laughs> I'm as cute as. As cute as a puppy. Yes. Got it. Yes. Got it. Ugly puppies. Again, this is a reminder to y'all out there that women are the worst dog owners in the world. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. Y'all hold it down, man. Keep us in your prayers. If you don't, fold in cheers to your head top. We're not playing with none of you niggas this year. We coming for what's ours. That's right up WWE. We're not letting Valley. white people jump on fat black people anymore if we're you present. Say flip. If if <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you can only halfway hit them. Y'all hold it down, man. Best podcast in the world. Again, I want to thank Billboard. Shout out to y'all. I want to thank all the ladies out there. None of this is possible without y'all. Ow. Shout out to the niggas too. <laughs> 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 Alabama flip. Shout out to the fans, the JBTV uh, X community. Whatever the fuck hey, X weird. is. Yeah. X. Yeah, it's weird. X don't even look right at the top of my screen when I leave it and it just say X there. Mm-hmm. You want to go back to yeah, X? Yeah. That shit is corny, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You see the app, it's just an X underneath as the name now. It just don't look weird. It also looks weird. Ice, I'm on you all. I'm on you on Patreon about your Afro Beast take. That's fine. Stay on me on the on starting Twitter to go, about it. Starting to go a little viral. That's fine. Let me get you. They got me. Yo, I love y'all out there, man. We love y'all out there. If nobody told you they love you out there, we do. Remember, stay away from the New York subway system if you can, if you can afford it. <laughs> That's where they shove the fucking crazy people that are going to stab you as soon as you turn your back. Don't take the train, yo. To homeboy that called for part of the show, leave your girl. <laughs> she don't have your best interests at heart and she don't want you getting money. She don't want you to expand. She don't want you to scale. 
She only cares about herself, like most of them. She don't see the vision. She don't. She don't. She wasn't there when you parked. I mean, when you rode. Don't be there when he parks. She, she what, what you suit? Stretch we it love y'all, yo. Bud Crawford, we love you, yo. WWE, we love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Mike check one two one oh, two. <laughs> Fuck is these niggas talking about out here, man? Best pod in the fucking world. Y'all lucky we ain't find nobody to send shots at today. Would have been a perfect time to do it with this Billboard list out, but I had to act fucking accordingly because these niggas was mature without me. I can't come back and be their maturity. I can't come back and be their maturity. But Friday, <laughs> <laughs> one of you niggas get out of line. One of you niggas get out of line. <laughs> Shots Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we on your ass. Pause. We not right, playing right, with right. none of you Anybody. YouTube niggas. At all. We not playing with none of you Rumble niggas. At all. Some of y'all Patroni commenters is getting aggressive too. too Watch y'all fucking mouth over there. Bow, huh? bow, bow. We not playing this year. At all. Nigga. 2024. Bow. Best podcast in the world. Number one. We got folded chairs on deck. Ah. We not playing with none of these niggas out here. Ah. Ah. Right up his alley, yo. It's right up your alley. These shits are sold out. I try to buy two for a <laughs> That's you the tenth person that came. Funny to. shit. That shit fuck somebody's back up, yo. That nigga. That's the metal shit. He yeah, ended that shit. girl. He had the plastic shit. He had the plastic shit. Yeah. He swung that shit he with, with the power of the ancestors, though. And he was he like got six his off. five. Trust me, she felt that. She did. Uh. I want to see them white people at the hospital after. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know they had to go to the hospital. Oh, for sure. Parks, and those were some last words for the whites, man. Like, come on. Talk to you. What happened? I got nothing, man. I got nothing. <laughs> nah. No. All right, man. Shout out to Paul. He always let the bus go past. Yeah, Good job. He's, Parks is the fucking man. He let the he's bus the go man. right there. I was no, hoping you no, hopped no, on the no, bus. No, 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 no,